Yeah. The glitch. As we were saying, listen, we're live and direct, live in the flesh. You already know what time it is. Like, share, subscribe, algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Listen, man, technical difficulties, they're part of the job. But listen, as Cam alluded to, big up Nando for blessing us with the Saka sauce. We had a lovely munch earlier. You can check out our socials so that. Obviously, <laughs> you can see it here. The Saka sauce itself. What, 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 are you, what are you saying, Cam? Foden, where's your sauce? Mm. <laughs> Foden, Don't get your that. sauce up! Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rash, yeah, you know, and Rash, he's fed, the, he's fed families. Yeah, so then, yeah, he, the, what Saka's doing? Well. What Saka's doing? Rash has been done, <laughs> been done, bro. So no, you can't talk about Rash. What about what Jude? Hmm. Just, Jude, hmm. Hmm. he's gonna do the maybe Payette. barbering, barbering, barbering. He might do something for barbering. Yeah, you know I mean, look, that's what he's got going for him, right? Harry oh, Maguire, man. we need the Pyre Mashling Cup soon. You get me? <laughs> we need something for the streets. But listen, man, big up Nando for sending that. Big up the Saka Sauce. Go and check that out as well. But listen, man, it's International Week, but we've still got work to do. There's still stuff going on. Mm -hmm. There's no whole type of three point collectors or anything like that, but it's International Week. And um, there's been a lot of conversations going around. But I thought, rather than doing the typical thing, let's have like a real conversation about something that's been in the ether, if you were. Um, obviously, sorry. Cam. And Leah's production, you guys went to the game at Wembley, you know, courtesy of whoever, had a good time. Mm. Obviously, it was Brazil, England. And obviously, there's only one more game. There's only one more friendly before the Euro squad needs to be picked. Mm. Um, interesting situation, Harry Kane not playing. Of course, we've, obviously, we've continuously mentioned about who starts in the forward positions. You had Anthony Gordon starting, no Bukayo Saka. Yeah. There's a lot of workarounds in this team. But what we wanted to discuss is... Is this England team the real deal or pretenders? Because go before this match, there's been a lot of talk of golden generation, have all the pieces, mm. can go one step further now. Mm. There's no time better than the present. Mm. There's been the talk of the demise of international football in general, the demise mm. of other nations. Yeah. But let's have that conversation about, is this England team the real deal or is it a false image? Mm. Can they actually do it or not? Mr. And I guess the only place to start from is the game yesterday. Like, you know, <laughs> Mr. England himself. Yeah, of course, Mr. Mr. St. George England, himself. <laughs> St. George himself. Well, I, mean, I thought this guy was legal to man the other day. St. <laughs> George. First of all, put yeah, our badge one back day on. He's Nigerian, one day he's Nigerian. Hey, pick a damn we side. Don't, don't don't you. Every day he's doing this. First guy. One, 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 one day it's Bounty, next day it's Good Day, mate. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Listen, mate. First and foremost, get our St. George's back on the show. <laughs> That's all. Get the St. George back on the England shirts, night. What are you doing? Do you know Don't what I mean? Me, man. That's first and foremost. That's why I think we didn't perform. That's the St. George. I right, leave Nike. That's the St. George. Nike, 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 no, yeah, Nike. There we go. Man Nike. gets shoes delivered and now he's switched up. You see what I'm saying, bro? But on, on the game, like, um, talk, talk me through first and foremost um, your thoughts on that lineup. Mm, I think. The lineup, look, with the lineup, obviously there was injuries to Harry Kane. There's Saka's out of the squad as well. And obviously there's that whole, obviously Luke Shaw's not fit. And there's that whole talk about who's going to be the centre midfielder. Kyle Walker played as well at right back. Trent wasn't in the squad at all as well. So there's a few injuries. But the question that you asked is, are England real deal or pretenders? And at this very moment, I think we, we may be pretenders. Mm, I wow. think we may be pretenders. Because first and foremost, this England team haven't done anything. You know what I mean? Got, what was it? Quarterfinals? England got knocked out of the World Cup? Yeah. Nothing to sing and, sing and dance about. And secondly, you're looking at it now. Yes, England are super talented. You're right. No one can deny that. If you're looking at Portugal, you're looking at France. And we'll talk about Germany later because Germany put a good performance and maybe put the world on notice yesterday. Mm. You're looking at one of the most talented squads in, in, in world football in, in England. But you watch England and it, again, it's just something's missing, bro. It's, it's, it's boring. It's, I was at the game, bro. I, I was checking out of the game. I was having debates in my group chat while England were playing, bro. It, was, it got boring. Do you know what I mean? Boring, easy, predictable. And we all know where we're going to lead it to. It's gonna, we're going to talk about the manager. We're going to talk about different things. But... I don't know. I just feel like every time you watch England, they f it feels like the handbrakes are on. You know what I mean? It just feels like the handbrakes are on and it, it wasn't an impressive performance. And you're looking at Brazil, who had injuries themselves, a makeshift back four. Man had beating. Danilo, that Brema was playing. They had Mendel, both keepers are out. Yeah. 
like it was it wasn't the greatest brazilian team by any stretch of the imagination and they still walked out with a with a win now i wouldn't say it was comfortable for brazil but it wasn't necessarily like they were under the cosh getting peppered it was uh at wembley we didn't put enough pressure on them and it just kind of reminds me of the italy when italy and euro talks, you're at wembley bro make teams like suffer england don't do that they had a, man. They had a 21 game unbeaten run there and that's just gone to almost like a Brazil B team. And you feel like kind of going into the tournament, being one of the favourites, this is kind of a real moment to stamp that and really put that on. But as you said, I don't think you can avoid it in terms of the conversation always coming back to the manager. Mm. We always say a team is always a reflection of its manager. And I feel like, especially when you've been in charge for as long as he has, he's definitely had his opportunity to kind of imprint himself. And this is just a reflection of Southgate, I'll be honest with you. No matter what players you pick it's always going to look a little bit lackluster a little bit slow in my opinion and we've seen a lot of these players tried in different positions and different formations and we saw Bellingham in the 10 this time and we saw Foden on the right and all of a sudden it still doesn't look any more inspiring it's like what has this guy actually done and and throughout previous tournaments I feel like because he's been able to get through to that semi-final that final of the Euros it's always given him that kind of benefit of the doubt I felt like the last World Cup was maybe a little bit of a check this one, it's it's, bro. I'm I'm glad that it's confirmed that he's walking away after this because you no, it's can't. Not. It's not confirmed. That's not his confirmed. contract ends in December, but it's not confirmed. That's not confirmed. You lot better put your hands together as a nation <laughs> and start praying, brother. <laughs> because if this is what you're giving the keys to for this kind of generation of players that you've got, I mean, Mino obviously made his debut as well, and you've got players like that still to come through as well. Mm. I, I worry for this country. Do you know big what? Time. Do you know what stands out for me, right? I feel like, you know, when you're having conversations about managers, Gareth Southgate in particular, one of the key things to note was he was the under 20 manager before. He then took this role as an interim, then he now went into the role. Obviously, you've got the final of the Euros, you've got the, the was it the semi final? Semi final of the World Cup, final of the Euros, Kyoto final World Cup. He's done things that had not been done for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I think in people's minds, the conversation was, wow, this is great but let's call a spade a spade. This is not to knock anything he's done. Mm -hmm. The England teams before were complete failures. With all of the talent they had, they completely fell. Yeah. If anyone says, where should England be in the tournament? Most of the time, it's final four. Given, based yeah. on the talent yeah, alone, yeah. it's final four. That should definitely be the aim. So what Gareth Southgate has done is he's restored England to a base level where they should be. And I think because of the culture he's built, which he's a great person for, did that under 21s, done yeah. it throughout the whole of the FA. It's what they wanted when they made St. George's, St. George's Park, you know? Mm -hmm. It's what they wanted, the culture. Now there's a situation where, is culture enough? Because that culture may not be enough to win you mm -hmm. the game. Oh, there's been chance. great conversations this whole week about the Italy game and how managerially, that is not how you manage a final. This is what we're saying. So this guy can still get into positions based on the team being where it should be, but is he going to be the person that gets you across bro, the line when it's one-on-one -on -one combat, a one-on-one one -one -one game? He's the, bro, he's just saw it against France as well. Yeah, and, and the thing when is- When it look, comes to the big dogs, mm -hmm. big managers, it, it, there's certain things that are not just, it's not your fault, it's not in your armory. But he, that's the thing though, like I mean, even big games. I mean, he was if you look at it. Exactly, it is the thing. Big games, England always lose. Like mm -hmm. that's the one, that's the one thing under Gareth Southgate that you know is going to happen. England are going to beat the decent teams. I remember when England beat Colombia in the World Cup. I, I thought we won the World Cup. At that point. <laughs> you know, I thought, Park was crazy. I thought, I thought the World Cup was won because yeah, yeah. I was like, Colombia are quite a good nation. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. this might be the biggest nation that, we beat. The this was no, no. This was um. It was when Dyer this scored was Dyer, 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 so we won on penalties, but when we beat them, I was like, okay, cool. But then the thing is, yeah, bro, with England, penalties. that's what I'm saying. With England, right? I just think the way Gareth Southgate used this team, and I've always said, yeah, I don't think international managers need to be these extreme tacticos that do madness. I, I don't think that's what international football is all about. But I think international football, the most important thing about international football is how you profile your best players. And that's how I've always felt it's been, right? In, in going all the way to the past and to now, it's how you profile your best players. England do not profile their best players correctly. You're looking at Foden's, you're looking at Jude's. People keep telling me that Jude can only play 10 all of a sudden. Bro. Was Jude, is Jude only a 10? Oh. We, up until this season, Jude got to Real Madrid not playing in the 10. Fact. Now Fancy. he can yeah. only, now we need Jude to have two workhorses behind him. I'm playing the 10. Yesterday I was at the game. We're giving him the ball like he's Zidane and saying, yo, make Figure something, something happen. Out, yeah. He's not that type of player. And as good as Jude is, I say Jude is anointed. He's going to be one of the best players in the world. Even the way he was dribbling yesterday, yeah. he was showing some feet. But we're making him have to do too much. 
Yeah, I'm trying to say, Conor Gallagher, Declan Rice, they'll give him the ball and he's having to dribble through. And the way I look at Jude, he's not this eye of the needle, creative, Meza Ozil that you're going to get it and now runners run off him and he's just going to slip it through the back door and then you're going to go. He's not that type of player. You got, exactly. So even the way we're profiling him, for, for me, I'm already looking at it. I'm like, if that's how we want to use him in the Euros, end of the tournament, everyone's going to start saying, is Jude a fraud? Jude's a fraud. Mm. Jude's a fraud. And that's not fair on these guys, bro. Mm. Phil Foden, how many times do we have to say he's not a winger in a Gareth Southgate system? Mm. It's simple. I, I said it before. Either play him in the midfield or bench him. <laughs> Stop hanging him out to dry on yeah, the wing. Yeah. I was sitting there with Harry. We were on Phil Foden's side. And Harry is like, Cam, Foden hasn't touched the ball for five minutes, you know? And the, and the game was playing on the other side and Foden just walking. Like, he's not that player. Saka, that's his player. Saka can t hug touchline. He can play like that. Rashford. Phil Foden, Rashford. Mm. Phil Foden cannot do that. Mm. So I'm already seeing, already two of England's better players. Obviously, Kane's going to come in. Obviously, Saka's going to come in. But I'm seeing two of England's better players already being missed profile, bro. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's a tough watch. And mm. we're going to, I know if Lies has his gripes on Conor Gallagher, but even the way Conor Gallagher it, it was being used as well, I'm like, mm. Gareth Saka is not, is not profiling the best England players correctly. And, that's what and I, that's said. I said. It should be Rice, league. Bellingham, Foden in that three. I don't know why it's so difficult to all of a sudden ask Bellingham because to start playing the eight. Because of balance, I'm like, bro, he it's literally dominated in the Champions League yeah. against Man City in the eight. But I was like, that's how that. he got he, this he move. And he's a six foot three he's a, powerhouse. He's I'm like, bro, he's, he's like the Gerard almost reincarnated. He grew up playing in the Championship. Playing at that, and ultimately, we always say this thing about Bellingham, right? Bellingham, he's one of them players where he has this ability to like mimic any play he wants to because that's who he is. Like, if he's of that level, he can play in multiple places. But he I just feel like if you don't play him, you're either going to be forced either playing Gallagher, who I don't think should be <coughs> starting. Okay, pick him in the squad or whatever. Mm. But otherwise, it leaves Kobe Manu, who is just making his debut, and you've got to kind of plug him in. And for me, that's too much too soon again. But so he, for me, it, balance wise, well. I just don't understand how you can not make that three dirt. No, I, but before we get to the Gallagher yeah. point, I think, I think the stat was he's given 96 or 97 people debuts in his tenure. Mm -hmm. One of those was Lewis Stunt. Don't get me wrong. Premier League level, fantastic. I don't, you should, no more. Just way out, <laughs> out, way out of his no more. Way when did out, this no become normal? Because no bro, way out everybody loved Lewis Dunk two weeks ago. Great guy, great guy. But there's levels are levels. I, mean, I saw we, we went to the look at Swimley base. We went to the game against Germany. Remember mm -hmm. when we saw Nick Pope and we said no. Mm -hmm. We said yeah. no, no, not at this level. No, it's just there's a different feeling. There's a different level of concentration. There's a different ability that you need mm. to have. And that's and what it looked like for Conor Gallagher yesterday. Yeah. Oh well, my god. I think I think well, Alex Elias getting to the Conor Gallagher production. Elias, this had he was doing um, player cam on, <laughs> just on Gallagher. On Gallagher. <laughs> Look, I, I don't want to I don't want to make this like a, oh let's only focus on Conor Gallagher because I think you guys are right. There are a lot of issues throughout this team and especially in my opinion the manager. But I think we all have to be honest about this kid and just own up to the fact that at international level there are levels to. It. When I look at Brazil yesterday, that was far from their best team, right? Uh, you had, what's his name? Jao Gomez from Wolves. You had uh, Bruno Paqueta Guimaraes. Bruno you had Rush. Paqueta, who, by the way, I think was, again, showed at that level he can hang with anyone, man. That guy, mm -hmm. that guy belongs at a top four team. But, but Gallagher, right? I feel like England fans feel like they have Park Ji Sung or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. this guy's work rate for me has now become overrated. Because when you have Rice and you have Bellingham, you already have two of the most industrious midfielders, not just in England, in the world, period. They are going to work their socks off. Why is it that the idea that, oh, this guy can come in and he's going he's gonna to cover so much ground. If you look at every single big nation in the world, none of them would ever, ever, ever call up a, a Conor Gallagher. France wouldn't. And people talk about Adrian Rabiot. I don't even like Rabiot. He's miles better than Gallagher. Brazil, Brazil, wouldn't call, Brazil wouldn't call him up. Germany wouldn't call him up. And when you look at England's failures in the last few tournaments, it always, always, always comes up against teams that have controllers that can mm -hmm. just dominate midfields. You have Germany. You have uh, France. You had Italy with Verratti and Jorginho. It doesn't matter. Croatia with, with Modric and Rakitic. If you put this guy in your midfield, and I, I hear the, the argument as well too, bring him on as, as a plan B. What reality would you want to bring Conor Gallagher in in a game that you need to win? Because you know Bellingham and Rice are going to play every single minute. Yeah. Why, what reality is Conor Gallagher going to come into a midfield three with them and all of a sudden England are going to look much better? For me, I, I forgot about even starting because I think that's, no one should even argue about that. I wouldn't even bring him on the plane. Because it's, I think you have guys like me, Curtis Jones, you have guys like Kobe. They work hard as well too, bro. But yeah. they can offer you something more effective on the ball too. That's but the, the thing. problem is, if you start Rice and Jude, I feel like then there's a after that, who are there to cover those kind of positions? In, the, in, in terms of what? In terms of sitters. 
But he's Kobe, not a sitter. Kobe. He's not a sitter. You got Kobe. You got, you got Kobe. Got Rice. Rice. I think those. No, two, Rice and Drew are the two starters. But Fuad, Conor Gallagher's not a sitter. Literally just come in. Mm, 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 but I'm saying, even of that mold, who are just willing to do the graft for mm-hmm. the team. Uh, that's no, the reason why I think no, he's there. And, and, and what I feel what like is, saying, is he's, he should be there only if Henderson's out, if that yeah. makes no, sense. But no, but like, what, no, no, but what yeah. he is saying, I think what no, he is no, saying is you don't need to we... start him or have him as a B team. You, For me, I understand no, that. Yeah, but but his saying... profile, yeah, I think, regardless of the fact, is yeah. going to be in the team. I no, no, no. He's one of those inevitable picks. Yeah, no, but fight it as well. Why does he have to be What he's saying is that with, like, why is the mentality that you have to have a good start in runners. and amongst Bellingham and Rice. That's what he's basically trying to say. Yeah. Why can't you have a baller in and amongst Declan Rice and, and, and Drew Bellingham? And that's the thing about England, right? You look at when we it's lost like the game fault. against France. Yeah, I think Declan Rice was the only midfielder against France that had a decent game. Mm-hmm. You look at the um, game against Croatia in semi-finals mm-hmm. where Jordan Henderson said, I'm going to put up a hall of shame. Mm-hmm. You look at uh, the Euros when when Verratti, um, Locatelli and Jorginho. Barella, all these men were running Jorginho. England always lose that midfield battle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's because England don't prioritise technical ability. Mm-hmm. So you're looking at, oh, they don't prioritise control. What England do is they'll say, Conor Gallagher or Henderson, let's combat what Jorginho is going to do. Let's <laughs> yeah, combat yeah, yeah, yeah. what, what Luka Modric yeah, and Rakitic fire, are going to do. Mm-hmm. We're not England just going to say, we are so talented. Do you know what? You lot think about us. And this is why I made that tweet yesterday, like when it came to the Trent Alexander-Arnold thing. I was like, in what reality... Are English people doing lineups without Trent mm. in the team? This is one of, for me, the one of the only supreme ballers in the game at the moment, right? Elite footballer. And we are saying, nah, do you know what? Because you see that moment when Vinny went through and Kyle Walker cleared it off the line. That's why we put him in the team. How about you see that moment when Trent whipped it into Harry Kane's yeah. head? You see that moment when Trent split a, a line breaking pass? We don't think that way. We're always thinking about recovery recovery defend defend or how we can stop others we have some of the england have some of the best players in the world in their positions the, and the, and and this country can't find it because of balance the, the broader but issue no, but that's but this, where you have to look to the manager it's not the country but that's for, the, that comes back to the manager me, again like the whole reason why gallagher the whole reason why henderson why these picks are almost inevitable and i'm saying it it's because of southgate let's yeah. be honest bro like but yeah. this is where for, for you me, lot are really no, mad at Southgate. No, that's what it is. Like, <laughs> like, but for me, no, hold on, who's your gaffer? <laughs> Ronald Coleman, is it Mr. Still Coleman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Kuhlman. him out of here. I'm it's happy Kuhlman. for that brother to get. It's bro, Kuhlman again. It's the same yeah, it's three, four gaffers yeah, who yeah, come round. It's a merry go round, bro. Kuman comes, Advocat comes in, Van Gaal comes in. Danny Flynn is next. The reason why for me it's so funny is because we mentioned a lot here the phrase technical security like ensuring that because at the end of the day international level is international level mm. it's not Premier League it's not no league Premier League it's not Champions League it's the, supposed to be the crop of the crop yeah. mm. so, so you're, you're expecting to have the elite of the elite mm-hmm. therefore if England are supposed to put their elite side out you shouldn't be thinking about how many yards can we cover in the midfield your ball should be able to do magnificent stuff and that's why it's all running is the bare minimum foot that's what I'm saying but especially but Cam it's the bare minimum if you have all these you're not seeing those bare minimum. no no but bro that's what you're saying 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 St. George and we're talking about spirit at the end of the day yeah if England are English and whatnot, naturally, if you're playing at that level, you're going to be running anyway because you're running for your badge. Like there's, there's, a, there's an empowered feeling there. So it should be focused on the football. Now, this is where it gets interesting for me. I don't want to bring up the Ben White thing, but you have to because the whole thing there was that they were saying that they want to play towards the way City play and this and that. I don't see that with England. I don't see City going, yeah. how, do, how can we control the game mm-hmm. and, and make our ballers ball? Mm-hmm. So, like, so what's actually got, how do England want to play? Like if I had to ask you, how do England want to play? What would you say? I don't Eventually know, get I the ball to France. I don't, I don't even think it's transition either. And I don't even think it's transition. The thing is the best moments that we've seen of like a Jude, for example, in England shirt is in transition, transition moments. Yeah. Or Rashford. Or, or Rashford or in Sterling. transition moments. So, 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 I don't even, but I don't think we're even catered towards that, bro. The team that we have now, that England have now, are finally a team that could go to France, could go to these countries, even Spain, and say, you know what, we might be able to match you technically. Mm. This is the first time in a long, long time mm. because people try and say that about the Lampard, Jared, that them man, them man were positionless, running around, headless, and just yeah. whatever. These lot actually have a sense of control. These lot play under some of the greatest foreign managers in the world at the moment. They've got all these systems in their head. They're, they can do it, but it's got to be allowed. Now, don't get twisted. Nobody is saying England needs to go and start playing like a Pep Guardiola Man City. It's, not, it's unrealistic. Mm. 
but put your best players in the right positions and let them flourish. Then this is the thing. This is when you start doing stuff and putting guys in the wrong positions. You start now being able to, people start getting scapegoated. It starts becoming a waste of time. Just let the players, I'm not even trying to say let the ballers ball, but put players in their best positions yeah. and give them the best opportunity to thrive. This this whole thing about running and stuff, bro, men are gonna run naturally, bro. When, when we were watching Italy in Euro 20, 2021, did you pay any attention to how much Verratti was running bro, or no. Jorginho was running? Bro, they probably were they running, but do you know, know what they were doing? Keeping the I think, ball. I think, I think, I think this playing. is a country that's also scarred by not being able to find that balance in the Gerard Scholes, Lampard era. But a manager and shouldn't be thinking about you that. you got to remember, it was Hargreaves who came in 06 and finally they were like, oh, we yeah. need a sitter for them. <laughs> it was like a, yeah. yeah, when he came in, it was kind of like a eureka mm -hmm. moment almost. But it's like, I think it's a country that's always been scarred by that kind of period yeah. to be like, Yo, we need someone who does but, the but dirty work. Is, but, but, but I mean, sorry, that, sorry, that's just my thing. But this is the thing, of course, no, you're right. You're right. But my simple question is, why? <laughs> yeah. We had haven't won since 1966. <laughs> why is that the mentality? You haven't won since 1966. Like, change it up. Yeah. Like, not to not to um compare any situation yet, but obviously, Awobi came out and spoke about the final, and obviously, I was out there, so I knew what was going on. You know, with Nigeria, the whole thing was they got to the fun by playing defensive or whatnot. But he was like, listen, my instruction is me and Frank Onyeka, are, are, we've been told to sit. We've been told to let the ballers ball and whatnot and do this. Their whole thinking was if we get the ball into right positions or whatnot, those guys can do something. Mm. When you look at England, when you look at England's team and England's depth when everyone is fit, I'm sorry. There's only, the only position where I would say it's a bit, I'm not sure, it's maybe left back. There is enough on that field and in the depth to play in a way that is sustainable, that you can, whether it's transition, whether it's domination, that you can play good football. Mm -hmm. I don't think that the 80,000 that go to Wembley should go to Wembley and be bored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that's number one. Number two, I don't think that England should ever, should suffer in games. Mm -hmm. And the issue is most of the teams that they come up against, you mentioned the Italians, the Italians have gone through really bad spells, mm -hmm. but you know what they always have? A plan of how to play football. Italy have been in the dumps. I've seen flipping El Sharari come back. I've seen mad stuff. But what <laughs> happens? The fullbacks will play a certain way. Mm -hmm. The middle of the field is always about domination. They have an identity. Maybe England's bigger issue is they've never had the identity that's throughout the team. You mentioned Brazil, um, mm -hmm. Paqueta and whatnot. The small things they did about the small intricate passes, mm -hmm. that is how Brazilian football looks. Are we, are we saying that English football is pop football now that no, we're going to be doing long, long balls but and, I've, no, but I've, and running? You know what I've always said? Yeah, I've always said the Premier League play the... The Premier League, if you're talking about how international football is played, mm, yeah. I think the Premier League is the most different to international football than any other league, right? Mm. Maybe you can throw in the Bundesliga as well in the way the game is played. I think international football, it slows down a bit. You often are just waiting for a moment to happen Thanks. and mm. stuff. International football slows down. So when the game slows down, you need to prioritise the technical players. If the game slows down and you have man hoofing the ball or you have man running around doing like headless chickens, it's not suited to international football. The fact that it, the fact of the matter is technical ability at international football is so important because it's slow, because it's patient, because you're going to have to keep it, because you're going to have to turn out in, in tight spaces every now and again. You need to prioritise that, in my opinion. So when I see England try and go this way through a, a transition or, or they're trying to go this way through hustle and bustle in international football, that's not going to happen. Maybe right. the, the Premier League, maybe that gets that can you could get away with in the Premier League. But it's not going to happen at international level. And the thing is, if you are going to do that, right, you better hope that player that you are playing transition football is a God-level player like, like, like Mbappe when France did it in the 2018 World Cup. Kind of sat back and used <coughs> Mbappe as an outlet. But Mbappe was generational talent. That's the difference. They prioritise the generational talent. Fair enough. But at that level, you've always got to prioritise technical ability. It's, it's the simple fact of the matter. Go back to the days of Euro 2000. Go back to the days of Euro 2004. I remember Rui Costa and Figo. Have you guys watched that game mm -hmm. when Rui Costa and Figo mm -hmm. treated England like, like they were dirt on the pitch? Yeah. These men, them time, they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have even probably said Rui Costa is one of the best in the world. But you know what? He had unbelievable tech. Mm. And he dominated the game because the game was slower. He moved left and right while England were trying to do this hustle and bustle. You got to move away from that mentality. Like, if I'm an opposition, people always say, "Oh, if I'm a, if I'm a left winger and I see Trent, I'm licking my lips or whatever." But if I'm opposition and I see on the pitch, there's Jude, there's Kane, there's Bukayo Saka, there's Foden, there's Trent. There's I'm thinking, there's John Stones. I'm thinking, yo, it might be a we might be running it might today. Be day, yeah. we, it might be a long day. Mm. But instead, Kyle Walker, 
Conor Gallagher, this guy, Donny, this Donny. Hey, I'm just, then that's when they're like, oh, dude. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? That's that and, and Cam, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam, that's that <laughs> Cam, the thing is, well, too, right? You're talking about like international football. I think even if you go the top level of club football, the best teams in the world, even their hardest working players, are still technical. Like you cannot thrive anymore at the at the elite level in club football anymore with passengers. I'm talking about Gallagher and Chilwell. They play for 11th place Chelsea, bro. They're not playing at the top clubs. Who's City's workhorse? Damn. Bernardo Silva. <laughs> City's workhorse is Bernardo Silva. You look at all the top teams. Their workhorses are still ballers. You cannot exist at the elite level anymore if you don't have a strong fundamental technical level, bro. Yeah, before, I before we go super chats, one thing I'll say is... Chilwell. Like, oh my God, sorry. That performance as yeah, well. Yeah. Listen, not, Chilla's, that show, was my guy, but... Chelsea fans might be on something there. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, that was his opportunity to try and claim that left back shirt. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a great cameo. Um, what I was going to say is, you expect that sort of mentality from, like, no offense, but like your Wales, your Scotland, where you've got, you know, there's international teams where they've got one guy that they bank everything on. Bale or something. Like, like a like Bale. That, yeah. so you expect that, but not McTominay. from a team where you've got like six, seven, eight players that you look at and you go, Whew. so. The What's thing is, the one thing though as well, right? Let's go super, let's go super chat. Just quickly, just quickly. One thing is that's important is that also you get caught in a warp of thinking that everything you have is the best. Mm. There's certain players that I think at England are the best that they have. I don't think Foden is the best in the world. I remember mm. I was arguing on another platform mm. that he's not world-class. People are saying I'm crazy. As much as I praise him, I don't think he's world-class. There's players on his... Musiala, uh, Verts. There's players out there in the game that are on the same similar level. Mm. One thing you do get wrapped up with England sometimes, that England think everything is the best. Mm. Everything that England have is the best. That's not the case. A, a, a random Don, he plays at Wolves, so he's not random. But a random guy like Jao Gomez, he can, he, can, he can school you, you know? Do you know what I'm saying? He can school you and you won't hear no hype about a player like that. Mm. But if a player was English and doing something at a similar level, oh my, you would think that, do you get where I'm coming from? So mm. it's the same thing with Kobe. Kobe's amazing, whatever, but people are going to think, as you were mentioning, Fuad, mm. Oh, because Kobe is this, is this super technical, very good player at Manchester United. Mm. That means that he's just easily going to be able to go Walk and start into, schooling yeah. Paqueta and all yeah. these men. That's not necessarily the case. Mm. So sometimes you do have to ground your it's expectations. Got but you've got to understand, you still got to recognise that England are amongst it. As long mm. as you're amongst it, you should do the best that you can to... But it goes, it goes back to what you said. It said that with their base level, they should always be in, in, the, conversa in the conversation. What takes you past that? is squad utilization and how you set up. Like you said, it's not about being a master te te technician as a manager. We've seen some crazy managers win international trophies, but it's Santos, about how do, I, <laughs> how do I extract from this team? Like prime example, we always talk about what France did. It's right? so funny though, because you're not saying both of those are pragmatic <laughs> managers. But no, but what do they do with their teams yeah. though? But the, it's how they profile their players. How they pro Pogba, but what are you going to do? The right position do the right things in the middle. Play the, Kante. Play the yeah. Kante, yeah. cover this, pay balls forward, um, fullbacks, Come in a bit, put the deliveries in. Like it's, you optimize nah, your team. Portugal's win was nasty. Let's not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was horrid. Nah, that, was horrid. Was that was horrid. <laughs> that, that was horrid. That was that was horrid. Blip. That was a nasty win. That was a, a good match. France, uh, France, there was that was a lot of profile. It was very good, but yeah, Argentina, Argentina maybe as well. Maybe Portugal was an art of defending, I guess, because Pepe Argentina. and yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah. international Stallone. tournament winners. Well, Argentina, they, they they were pragmatic. Like, you don't have to be like free flowing. I mean, you have to know what your team is. No, but still, new manager. No, but even but even that though, with Argentina, ball pretty well as well. Then, don't you think? Pra the they did, is, but when I say pragmatic, I mean like they weren't like free flowing. They no, were like, yeah, but pra saying, pragmatism yeah, yeah, is not a negative be, thing, though. The, exactly. The great France teams weren't pragmatism. No, 100 percent. Free flowing. 100 like. percent. Yeah. Even that's Brazil, they had Gilberto. They had yeah, Rocky Jr. That's my whole point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The best the teams that end up winning the Just tournament usually aren't the most exciting. Yeah. Because again, to what we said, international football is about moments. It's the same. So can we control? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Great. You look to those big players to really step up and. You want to put them in the yeah. right position to yeah. win that. Yeah, it's like I mean? in that one moment, can we take it? Boom. Mm. And that's why Harry Kane, we watch him closely because with the penalties, those are big moments. You get me? But <laughs> hey, we'll leave that for now. Super chat, super chat, super chat. <laughs> yeah, uh, Adam says France versus Germany. It's glaring that England needs someone like Cruz, a general that controls the game. Musiala and Verts are elite, but Cruz made the team tick. Yeah, he looked um, amazing. Can we, yesterday. you know, we'll Cruz come back. We'll, English, we'll, we'll come be asking, can he start alongside? We'll be saying, can he start alongside? Um, he ain't got the legs, dude. Can he start alongside? <laughs> can he start next to Andrick? <laughs> Get the hell um, out of here, man. Let's let's go back to that one. Um, but yeah, let's let's keep okay. going. Super chats. We'll go uh, back to that one. Ethan De, De Villiers says, Maze looks like young Metro. Hashtag we don't trust you. 
Uh, Kendrick. <laughs> Beckenbauer Region Kendrick says. Hype, man. Oh, this guy Kendrick, said speak yeah. on Germany, so we'll get back to them. Kendrick DOF hype. says, by Cam's own definition, isn't Foden a system player? He can play right wing well for City, but not for England. All the hype, no performances for England. What's your thoughts on that? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think so because in a, I have always seen Foden as a midfielder playing out wide in mm. a Pep team. Maybe you can do that. But you can say, oh, is he a system player? If he was playing in midfield the whole time for England, right, and then he wasn't able to do it, then maybe you can start throwing them allegations. You can start saying these type of things. But I don't think that's the case. But the thing is, when people say system player, they got to be careful with what you're saying as well. Because does that mean, was Gerard a system player? Was Lampard a system player? Was Wayne Rooney a system player? Scholes. we got to remember it said Scholes only played under one manager his whole career. And he wasn't that good for England. Rooney only played under one manager pretty much his whole career. Obviously, Dave, forget David Moyes, but he played for Ferg so long. Wasn't good for England. Why are they system players? Mm. Is that what we're saying? Are these guys all system players? Yeah. You got you to know, you know what you're saying in this case. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I just think some people can, can be misprofiled. Is that, is, is that not a thing? Misprofiling is not a thing anymore. Oh, of course, he, people don't often look towards misprofile. The, the Lampard um, example is interesting because some people probably look at the position he played and be like, well, in for how Chelsea played, he was given the license to do that. He mm-hmm. wouldn't be able to do that another team. Is not being able to do something in another team misprofiling or is mm-hmm. that system is where the debate comes in. But it's an interesting observation, but I, don't, I, don't, I wouldn't say Foden's a system player. What else have we got? I said Fuad. Foden. said Foden. I'm sorry he said Foden. He said Foden. Oh, is he? <laughs> he said the Fuad, Fuad is a system <laughs> player. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Uh... Fuad Kadani's army says it's Jude or Foden play the best team not individuals Jude, which I think you guys kind of thought Jude or Foden. Foden who would you who? that's silly for me both. that's why it's silly that's would, what I'm saying is it both of you right there. both of them yeah. I think it's one of them Rice, Bellingham, Foden simple yeah. uh, J.O. says quick one find it crazy that no one talks about how Walker offers literally nothing going forward anymore Thank can barely you. complete across these days what but Saka's better going forward than than uh, than Cal Walker now Dead ass. I said. I said. You you bring Carl Walker in for certain games, maybe if you think that you've got that much of a threat to worry about. But the, uh, so, for me, you go. Get some nod. Yesterday there was an instance, yeah, where I think it was Foden, Conor Gallagher. They might have done a little link up. The ball went through to Carl right, Walker the on flank. the right hand side. Yeah. If that was Trent, that's a whip straight into the box. Yeah, yeah. Carl Walker, meaty touch, end up facing towards the crowd passed it backwards. Then about five minutes later, he recovers the ball off the line against Vinny. But that's the difference. Going forward, he could have made an impact, he didn't. Defensively, he he did well over there. But it's like, what do you what do you want? Yeah, I'm trying to say, going forward, he's he's bro, he's game not he's not that it, he's not it at all anymore, yeah. bro. It's he, gone. Yeah. By his own admission, I think it was the last international tournament he was talking about how he's prided himself on becoming a better defender. He's not that attacking fullback anymore. He's recovery man. He's mastered the art of recovery. And he's he can right still side do it. Of the back three best role. <laughs> this guy's coming. He said back, back No, three. I agree. Oh, you agree with him? Right now? side of a back three. Back three. No, he said it back two last yeah, time. Yeah, like, oh, like, sorry, 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 sorry. I was trying to get Maguire out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I've accepted Maguire. Hundred <laughs> percent. All right, cool. Let's keep let's keep moving with these. Kyle Walker. Uh, Adam says the team's final third threat when Jude came off was spooky. Uh, Park Life manager says Cam's is right. Trent is needed. I can't lie. Red Baron says, as a United fan, give Southgate England long-term contract. <laughs> Jiba Football says, I'm tired with the scapegoat culture around Gallagher. He had a good first half, but one mistake and there was a pylon. Meanwhile, Paqueta should have been sent off for too many fouls. Double. Are you I don't comparing even know mistake, Paqueta Conor with Gallagher? Gallagher? Brother, please get some eyes, man. Jesus Christ. I don't even know the mistake that you're talking about with Conor Gallagher. I just think the performance. He made so several many, mistakes. There were so many moments, yeah. It's the, it's the little things, right? It's not about, it's the little things. There were so many moments where Jude has gotten on the ball, Foden has gotten on the ball, Anthony Gordon has gotten on the ball, and then they pass that ball back. So they, they pass that ball across the box or outside the box to so Conor Gallagher, and then the, the attack breaks down or the, the counter starts. And Gallagher can win you free kicks. He's hustling and busting. He'll win you that free kick. They push you in the back. He won like three free kicks. Mm. But if you actually see the touches, the opportunities that he could have done in them moments, he end up having to resort to a free kick. A quality player doesn't, it doesn't end up resorting to a free kick. A quality player ends up in a, a chance, yeah. ends up in a good pass. Mm. So that's the difference. Like no one's faulting him like that, but it's the small details with the quality, bro. bro 100%. <laughs> Obviously, you know, you know my, my views. I like Connor a lot. I think you've said, you've hit the nail on the head. There's a certain level, a certain panache that you get with other players that you need at that level, which he doesn't fully excel in. 
I also feel though that he does he does give you more than work rate. Right? What does he give you? Like he's a competent player. It's not just a work. No, what, 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 what's his attributes that he brings to the England team that no one else can bring? Not not to the England team. I'm saying in general, England team. There's players that do everything better than him. But I'm just saying that because of that, he's then reduced to being a workhorse, and he shouldn't be in that situation anyway. I see. I think, at that level, I think Conor, I think he's just in a similar situation to Mason like Mark. no, not even Mason. Mark, no, no, whoa, respect Mason. Mark. No, 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 no. But I what I'm saying, a, what I'm saying is, no. But the reason why I say that is because with Mount, mm. there's things that Mount is great at. But what they'll say is, oh, it's it's the IQ and the mm. turns and whatnot. Because he doesn't excel in these other things that you'd be mm -hmm. like, I need that. But People always look to the thing that you they deem you to be excelling in and say that's you. But Mount could could probably could offer more on ball quality. How I see McT how I see Gallagher, right? And people will say that he's been Chelsea's probably best outstanding <laughs> midfielder in terms of what they have. But then that's I'm not saying that's the reason why, but if Conor Gallagher is your best midfielder, then you're you're struggling. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. why in Chelsea Austria is there's been times when McTominay has been Man United's best midfielder and we're struggling. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, there's never going to be a time where El Nenny is Arsenal's best midfielder. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There's never going to be a time. If, if he was, Arsenal would be batting for the top four. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? They won't be yeah. chasing titles. So yeah. that's just the reality of it. Yeah. Conor Gallagher is good, but yeah, that's, that's the thing. You need more. You need more. It, you you know need more. It's like, again, not even relating, but Hendo, you look at Hendo in England, you're like, bro, need more. Like, need. this is not it. Like, we go. that's just the nature of it. What, what, what more we got? I want to uh, go outside Germany one once yeah, we come we got through. a lot of questions though. Fuad Kadani's army also says Endrick is just Anthony with test... Yeah, this is a crazy comment. With testosterone. testosterone and melanin. What the what hell? What did he say? He said Endrick is just <laughs> Anthony with testosterone and melanin. <laughs> Why are you guys hating on 18? What is he? 17? Why is, 17. Why is everyone hating on Endrick? Can we talk about that? Let's, do, do, what let's, do you think about Endrick? They, they're hating on the things the industry plan. I think it's just that, yeah, I think that's what it is. He can already speak English. He's got the Real Madrid moves secured at yeah, 16. Listen, it's, he's the envious listen, evil eye, if listen, you like, of, of he look, jealousy. He looks yeah, like, that's how I see it. He looks like he could be playing football with Pele back in the day. Mm. Like, no tactics. Like Apparently, icon. he sings whilst he plays football. He does the interview and he says, yeah, Bobby Charlton played here. <laughs> it's a dream to play where Bobby Charlton plays. People was, look at him like... That was hilarious. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, I was like, you're not helping your industry <laughs> plant case, man. Historian, bro. Bobby Charlton hasn't even played at that. That's a new stadium. Like, no, the old man oh, in it. Yeah. So I think people's perception, like you go on his IG and all of those images look like they should be in black and white. And he's a five foot, he's a five foot seven striker as well. Yeah. Everyone's like, what's going on here? Like, what's think, actually happened to the game? I think game? nowadays, like, everybody can't wait to see some the new kid fail top staff yeah. being failed. Let's be honest. Remember, like now, Chavi Simmons is seen as one of the certified young yep, stars yep. in Europe. But for a long time, people were like, YouTube he stars. PSG for? He's gonna flop. Oh, yeah. he thinks he can go PSV and do something. Yeah. He's gonna flop yeah. everywhere. He's been doubted. So I think it's almost like the next one up if that makes sense I remember Ansu Fati when he mm -hmm. come out it was the same whenever there's a new 16, 17 yeah. and they get all that buzz there's always a group that's like you know I what? always think though when it I don't like him yeah. <laughs> he ain't Brazilian <laughs> that little flip flap yeah. you ain't <laughs> <laughs> no, but no but I, 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 kid grow, man. I always feel like Eng it takes a lot a long time I feel like English people when there's there's like a fear of the unknown yeah. when there's a player that's doing something that you haven't seen directly mm. you instantly start hating and as soon as he came yeah, and he did something whatever people started focusing on his touch but I remember this was similar to when Neymar do you remember when Neymar had his debut Not I don't know if it was debut but it was his first game that you'd been televised after being this YouTube sensation Mm -hmm. It was England. It was Brazil versus Scotland, and it was at Wembley, right, or the Emirates, one of the gate, one of the stadiums. And Neymar bored, but he got, had so much hate after that. It's like it's like the fear of no. You finally get to see him. Like it's the finally we finally get to see Endrick play. He scores at Wembley, and all of a sudden it was like, nah, he's mid. He's like, you haven't watched this. You've only watched 15 minutes of his career. <laughs> I don't just, get it. He's 17. I don't get it, bro. Just, I don't get it. You're saying that though, but it's the same how people are speaking on. Kobe like it's just a thing where like when someone's when one group over here is saying that this is amazing there has to be a group that goes I'm not buying it until yeah, it's yeah, so yeah, obvious yeah. you're like you know what and listen I man I, I feel like you need detractors as well man I need, yeah. like, I need Edric to need, crash it you need some you need some haters yeah. just so you know it gives you that bit of motivation yeah. oh, that's sure. thing. listen you gotta remember he's got in Madrid now where there's gonna be Mbappe mm -hmm. Vinny mm -hmm. Rodrigo Bellingham mm -hmm. like people are gonna be like alright Edric 
come, let's see you come to the dance now. Yeah. So I can't, I can't, he'll Madrid, have his moments at, at Madrid. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see. He seems like he's got a top mentality yeah. for his age, and he seems very switched on. I think even midweek they were saying like, oh, he's not the extrovert personality like a Neymar or mm. a Vinny. I'm like, okay, you're not trying to say he's one, he's one of the good boys, mm. yeah. Let's see how that how that kind of develops. Good when, boys, when he PR's has these tough right moments now. and things like that when he's not maybe playing as regularly at Madrid. Mm-hmm. Do you know what that reminds me of? It's um, who is it? In the AC Milan story with Kaka and someone else is like, was it Pato? No, it was a Pato. And Pato they said, if you yeah. want to come here, you have the party years and you have the church goers, basically. Like Kaka's, Kaka's click and yeah. uh, no, no, was R9, R9. No, the Dino was there. It was R9's click. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then he, went to, he went to the wrong side. Yeah, man. That's listen, funny. Be careful. Man. Be careful. Go, who's, who's side Enjig will go? And he got to go link up with who? Tony Cruz and Bellingham. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Valverde and Bellingham in the gym. They're like yeah. 100 reps. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true. Speaking of. um. Better them. Did you hear um, before we go to Super Chat? Did you hear that conversation that him and um, Shimani had? And apparently, it's over Eric Dan. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a, he's a, a nice guy. guy. He's a great guy. He's a great I thought, guy. I thought it was Mbappe Harlan. I still nah, think it's Mbappe Harlan, man. That's <laughs> how they bleeped out the names. I, I, thought, yeah. I thought it was about Kane and Benzema. What? That's what I thought it was about. Nah. Yeah. The way I they were saying they, I they thought he said, said Karim. You thought you heard him say what? Karim, like his first name. I Who thought it was that? about Benzema and Kane. When I like when they the way they bleeped it, I thought he was saying Karim. I didn't think he was saying uh, okay. Eric or whatever. Mm. There ain't no way they're, they're arguing over. I mean, Dyer but then yeah. they wouldn't throw they wouldn't throw Dyer and Upa under the bus like that. Though. But they, 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 must they, be it looked like they were watching the Bayer Lazio game before they whatever. On they said on Jude's phone he was watching. Um, he's a great, he's a great guy, and he's like, I don't care. He's a great guy. <laughs> and Kamavinga's like, but shut up, man. <laughs> I just didn't think like, why would Jude be talking about Mbappe that way? Because like he's probably gonna play with him next year. That's why for me it seemed weird. That's no, but why weird. would? But then why would they're about to no, link up? Why would, he, he, why would yeah? Why would be Jude exactly? Why would you be saying that though? Like, oh, why would he be saying Harlan's better than Mbappe if Mbappe's he, linking up? He played with. That's Harlan. why I said yeah, like, for yeah, me, it exactly. makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Still, it doesn't make sense. I think it was. I. I I'm. I'm going to take their word for it. That's Upa and Dyer. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> why, why, why not? is that even a conversation? <laughs> could be. It could be. A, maybe. Maybe they're watching the. Yeah. You were saying they're watching Bayern Lazio. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he was probably. Too many probably like, hey, your boy Dyer is shit, man. Yeah. He's like, no, he's a great guy, man. He's, he's a great guy. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? He's a fuck your guy, bro. You know what I mean? It's refreshing that them man have conversations like us, doing it? Yeah, of course. Super chats. Let's go, man. What else uh, we got? Jiba also says, contrary to popular belief, Gallagher is good on the ball. Look how many fouls he won because Paqueta couldn't get near him. Let's... Goodness Let's me. not be disingenuous. Jiba football, he's a real Chelsea boy, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paul202011 says, why do so many people in this country talk of entitlement? We have never been a country that win, but we act like we have a team of superstars. Uh, Just Waffling says, don't support England, but I can't stand a misuse of talent. What's irritating about Southgate is he doesn't experiment in the build of the tournaments. Then when the lights are bright, big up the show. Facts. Mm. That's big facts. Mm. Mm. That's a great sweep shot. Is Uh, that it? Tite Kudia says, Southgate wasted our biggest talent on the right. Foden's a 10. Ben Chilwell, who was the worst player I've ever seen on the pitch. SMH. Spit off. Meet Patel says, Cam giving political answers when it comes to Foden. Uh, <laughs> Big Van Dico says my biggest concern is this is what life post Harry Kane looks like we have a once in a generation striker and one nothing and I'm a gooner and then Diallo says if Jude was 5'8 and slightly darker he'd be Jude- Jeffrey Schlupp bare athleticism and no bag biggest fraud in world football that's Musiala crazy. is him he said that's a, that's a crazy oh, yo, I'm, there's, there's, there's this perception that Jude had, can't Play ball, bro. I don't awesome. get it, bro. Jude's feet is crazy. Um, they're calling him Jude Van Nistelrooy. Well. Yeah, Jude, Jude Defoe. <laughs> Jude Van Nistelrooy. Is Jude, do you how fat Jude Van Nistelrooy? Jude Defoe. They're, 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 oh, they're playing player, it. Bro, Jude's but, um, feet are mad, bro. He's yeah. Very clean. I don't get it. Yeah. Jude, don't Jude, get it. Jude's, Jude's biggest issue, yeah. I've seen the way he dribbles. Jude's <sighs> big. Jude's biggest issue is this is 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 perception. At the end of the day, yeah, he came from the championship and he has that championship aura about him. Like he has Champions League talent, but championship aura. Yeah. Like he's Mad going man, around, bro. he's going around, he's asking for red cards in the yeah, friendly. Yeah, yeah. And because people see that, they don't attribute that to being a baller. Mm-hmm. They want silky and whatnot. No, the guy can play ball. He just grew up in the championship, playing more common and them man on a mm-hmm. Tuesday night, but he can play football. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get the Jude. I think the Jude hate is gonna, it's forced, is dude. gonna go back on everyone, bro. That's yeah, how I 100%. see it, bro. Jude, that's an Jude's one of what? Yeah, he's special. Take? That's an undisputed talent. Man. He's you special. That. Speaking of undisputed talents, there's um, Germany, France. Previous talents, well, no, not previous talents. There's talents that have been exceeding for years, and new talents that I want to speak about before the game. Musiala gets the number 10 shirt confirmed, mm. which is the stamp 
you know, Ozil. Who's the legendary tens of Germany? Who, who's won? Ozil, Ozil and Mateus. Mat- Mat- that's the, the big oh. one to them. And Podolski. Who? Yeah, Podolski used to crash for Germany. Yeah. Yo, yeah, he did. Yo, let's he did. For Germany. That's one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of them niche yeah. killers in the international yeah. stage. You know, <laughs> Mat- 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 Mateus <laughs> probably a big one. Ozil. I was who had the stint with it, and then it'd be Podolski. I just saw next second when I heard the names. I was like, oh, Podolski? <laughs> yeah, I no, because Balak and Nemad did it. Young player of the tournament 2006, I heard that in a minute, man. What's that? I said young player of the tournament 2006. Who, Ozil? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 Podolski. Podolski. Oh, Podolski. But, um, Podolski. So obviously he's got a 10, but um, Nangsman came out and said, my, my, I'm playing based on Verts. I'm going to see you And everyone that knows football went, yeah. Sorry, Sane. We're back. We're back. And then obviously for the first time in three years, Tony Cruz comes back to the international stage. What a player, man. Listen, man. The disrespect that Tony Cruz gets on his name Listen, is absolutely crazy. All you're a United fan. All, all time. time. You're a United time, fan. Man. This is, must have been like when Skulls came back at retirement. The sports <laughs> direct hoops. Like, wow. Real, real hoops is still alive. Mm. I've seen Germany be in some mad situations. I've seen them have to result to like under in the squad and whatnot. But one thing that I always like about Germany is in red moments, they kind of like has this resurrection. I remember, I think it was the World Cup where Kroos, funny enough, scored a free kick at the last minute and whatnot. Obviously the last time it was poor. But off of that display against France, even though they've lost a few games before, you can see that they have potentially something. Why? Because they're playing to the strengths of their best players. The performance by Musiala Wurz, that is real hoops. That first, that goal in what, seven seconds? Mm. Tony Cruz looking at Mahomes, bro. Man went backwards, he looked. That he's looking at Mahomes, pass, What a finish as well. That pass is dumb. Yeah, yo, with that finish, I've looked at it a few times. Did it deflect or is that straight versus goal? I think goal? it was a tiny deflection. Okay. I was like, right. Tiny, but goal was rooted. Yeah, yeah. Didn't expect it. Now that pass from Cruz, that's, that's what sets the decent to the, the elite, elite, bro. That is just, that is right into his path, bro. All he has to do is take a touch and just run and bang it's it like in. It's like a quarterback. It's literally like a quarterback. Man said, You've either got Havertz in the right kind of form at the right time in, 100%. Uh, for Germany as well. Havertz playing in the nine, isn't it? Yeah, playing yeah. in the nine now. I know he sacrificed at the when he left, left back, wing back position yeah. in yeah. the last uh, yeah. couple of games. But now, nah, listen. Rudiger I think still they, Rudiger. With that front line, they could maybe do some damage, but as a whole team, I don't know if they... I think obviously over the last couple of campaigns, Germany's stock has fallen so much mm. where Flick has come and gone. Uh, obviously the Jogi Lowe's come and gone. Mm. Now it's like Nagelsmann. I think putting Kimmich back at right back as well. Mm-hmm. Good Thumbs profiling up. right there. That's that's what that's what that's about, yeah. You see that managerial profiling? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. we're talking Kimmich in midfield, uh, hey man. So. Anybody seen any Bayern games? That's not it. Mm. At right back though, he can still do you mm-hmm. a job yeah, for me. Great. And and mm-hmm. I think you, you kind of see that when he goes back to Germany. But... I think that'll be important for them how the rest of the squad kind of comes together. Facts. But I think with that front line, if you put these players in the right positions mm. and you've, as you said, give Verts and Muziala the keys to kind of do what they want, bro. Mm-hmm. Those are two of the premier under 23 talents but, if you like, at the moment or uh, under 20. Are we not take? are we like taking um, into consideration that they're the home nation? Mm-hmm. That's home nations in international tournaments, good home nation, not Qatar. Good home nations, <laughs> they're gonna go. They, the top, man. <laughs> yeah. It was good for you. Yeah, match your hope, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so <laughs> yeah. they genuinely, they genuinely, genuinely do well. Yeah, I mean, host yeah. nations. So, I mean, I'd expect Germany to go far. When you're actually looking when you at their team, do, uh, what do you mean far? Because I, 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 I would say like, like semi finals, semi finals at home. Yes, at home nation, they should be looking to. I think they should be getting to the semi finals. I mean, they're a good team. Gundogan, Cruz, France. Portugal, England. So okay. what? You'll be. You would. Would it shock you if it Portugal it wouldn't met shock Germany me. in the quarterfinals and, and shock Germany beat no, them? No, no, no. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, look, and it might I don't not end up that, that way. Fourth team is that cemented? If I'm honest, but I think those three: England, France, and Portugal. What? Well, so wait, hold on. You, would it surprise you if England met Germany in the quarterfinals and Germany beat them? Yeah. No. Would you be completely shocked? Me personally, it would yeah, surprise you. I would be. Wait, I'd be surprised. Can I dial it back? You know, the, know you know you the Euros. I would, you know I would the Euros. Look at England as in you should be winning that game. There should be no nation. excuses. All, all I'm gonna say Formation is nation hype. This is where you get redemption. <laughs> England, beat <laughs> them, as England beat them six, in the Euros. No, but, 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 <laughs> wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. All I'm, all, dude, dumb. all I'm gonna say is that game you're talking about. Thomas Muller had the opportunity. 
Yeah, yeah everyone yeah, seems yeah, to forget that. It's a different German Thomas... team, anyways. That team is washed as hell. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. was no, a different team. No, but I'm saying Germany had that. Like, we they England beat Germany, but yeah. Germany could have still won that game. They could have, they, I I Germany could have still won that game. I think Germany. No, but I'm saying Germany could have still won that game. Germany are just still finding their feet. I don't think they are that team yet, and I think they're coming into this tournament as maybe people have forgotten about them, but they can put some respect back on their name. I think like a quarter final, if they were to beat England. That's a big one for me. I'm looking at them like, all right, now you're in the semi-final. That is incredible coaching and the players mm. have kind of performed above expectations, if you like, in my opinion. They haven't got mad if they met England in the quarterfinals, I would expect England to get through that game, bro. Otherwise, I don't expect, hey, I don't know. tomatoes at Heathrow. <laughs> <laughs> Who again? Who again? Who again? <laughs> Hello? Golden generation Germany hype. Got, Germany got yeah. an interesting group as well too. Germany, Scotland, Hungary, Switzerland. That's food. Yeah, I don't know if it's hot. food, bro. I can't lie. What? Hold on, none of those countries are really- Tommy! <laughs> Wait, I don't want to see more Tommy in Scotland. Germany should, Germany should be afraid of Hungary. No, 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 no. They should Hungary, be Hungary beat, I think Hungary beat them last time, or they at least drew with food, them. Food, 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 food. That's what we do. That's not happening. Are you asking Cameron trying to boost up Germany's stocks? I think it's good. Germany should struggle to get out of that group. I didn't say, I said it's not an easy group, but they should still, of course, I agree with you. Germany should be going, for me, at least semi-finals, but I don't think it's an easy group per se. Who's the fourth team? Uh, Switzerland. Lamb shops, man. No, Switzerland Swiss, always Davis, get man. through. Switzerland always get through. Those teams have performed better than I'm Germany have in the last few tournaments, bro. Switzerland always get through group stages. Switzerland won them teams, bro. Right? Like, I agree. They should they dominate your region. Hungary's <laughs> next door. Switzerland's the other side. Come on, man. Dominate your that region. That is funny. Yeah, that's true. That that trust me. That, that is funny. But yeah, you yeah, um, <laughs> Let me chill. Let me chill. <laughs> Hey, listen. We've got three k. We've got three k. We've got three k watching. Only four hundred likes. Let's get the likes up. Smash the like button. Many likes? What? Where are we up to? How many likes? Let's smash the like button. Algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Hit me, France. What are we saying? France. Talking about France. Yeah, I was saying France. I felt like they really underperformed in that game. Mm. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Is it? Is it? Greece. Is it just a, uh, I don't know. France always do this, Greece. bro. France before yeah, every single the... tournament, they always, they always lull you into yeah, this kind of, bro. They always hey, do man, this. man, we're not as good as we used to be, bro. <laughs> they always do We're this. not the favorites, man. Yeah. And then they come tournament time, it's like, okay, you yeah. fell for that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think France, I mean, look, it's not really, I think it's bigger, it was bigger for Germany to do well, especially going, as I said, into a home tournament yeah. Yeah. for them than France. As you mentioned, France, they should be there or thereabout. So, yeah. Then what do you really have to break down about France? They've got unreal pool of players. They've got arguably the best player in the world. I think France should be good. They've got Griezmann in the form of his life. I think they're going to go into that tournament feeling good, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sure, many's there. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't really see Zayemri. Like, the yeah. defence is, is settled. He was, I think he was starting. He started last year. Uh, but, like, is he like, playing that like, four minutes back out of things? Obviously, the injury. Well, if he's had. playing, if he's but, getting picked um, for the country, I'd imagine so. I think, I think the key thing with them is it's about. You know how, not that, you know when you mentioned Madrid and Zidane, like just managing the profile, so like, listen, mm -hmm. you guys are ballers. It would be the same thing again, because obviously that World Cup defeat would have hurt. Who's starting right wing for France at the moment? Uh, yeah. Dembele. Uh, Dembele, Dembele. 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 Yeah. He's got to have a Your boy. Him. No, 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 I had to <laughs> say, Don't yo, disassociate mm, now. I to, I, bro, what, I'd say, <laughs> don't after, disassociate after now. After getting hooked in that World Cup final, he broke my damn heart, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I was saying it hey, to Liaz. Um, Liaz see, they bro, the real one. Me and, me and Liaz were talking about it, right? And we were like, we we're talking about Dembele, and I think he has to have a big tournament, bro. I think he has to have a big. He somebody has to be. We usually is to Anton Griezmann in terms of always turning up for France, but somebody's got to be Mbappe's running mate, bro. Do you know what I mean? And I think it has to be Dembele. I think Marcus Turam. If you, I'm looking at right, Marcus Turam's not the level. I don't think he's that level though. He's a decent player. I don't he's think been he's having a great year at Inter. I know he obviously in the Champions League he could have done more, but I always think there's a surprise player for France that comes out of nowhere. And for me, he strikes me as the one. I was gonna say, this is Colo Muani was that guy last tournament. He kind of yeah. got Thank some you. minutes, showed up. Yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted to to um, to, to, to build off of Muani this say, season. He's alright. <laughs> I was gonna say when, when you've got when you've got someone like Mbappe, do you need like a big level running mate? Because Mbappe is gonna Mbappe. Mbappe has always shown that when it comes to it, he's gonna do what needs to be yeah. done, and he'll take on his shoulders. But you don't, your running mate doesn't need to be like that level. Do you but I mean, you gotta be able to deliver in yeah, the, in, the, in moments. Yeah. Has, when is it's that? Like it's like Di Maria and Messi. The it's more like you have, yeah. that, the more you have of them type of players though the more it can make that difference like mm. previous France World Cup you felt like okay you've got Griezmann yeah. you've got Pogba mm -hmm. also, you've got Kante if yeah. that makes sense those kind of players who you really feel like can deliver in those moments yeah, yeah. in this France team when you look outside at Mbappe's like Dembele 
Giroud still there. Yeah. Camavinga, Chuameni. It's like, I don't know. Chuameni came big. Came those big. two, those two I'm looking at as like, mm. that. this can be the tournament. Mm. Of course, mm. they both had, uh, was it Chuameni? Scored yeah. a rocket against, against England, England last yeah, tournament yeah. as well. So yeah, yeah. I think those two could have huge, huge tournaments yeah. in my opinion. Really come of age if you like. Mm. But that's if they have the shackles taken off. I can't no. lie. I think with Mbappe in France, you've seen as well too. Like running mate, okay, I, I, hear, I hear it. But yeah, bro, honestly, just give him a good base of, of like the defenders and the midfield is, is organized. He can, yeah. bro, he can win you games by yourself yeah. at that yeah. level. He's shown it. Yeah. Mm, well, yeah, I think the main difference for them is obviously it's um, Lloris won't be playing in one. It's not. Yeah, well, if Mania wants to get Mike. fit, <laughs> yeah. no, yesterday was Bryce Samba. Upgrade. Yeah, it was Samba yesterday. Hmm? That's an yeah. upgrade. Yeah. Bryce, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I do think I don't know. I don't know. I just think somebody needs to to back up Mbappe, mm. bro. That's just what I think. One thing I wanted to quickly discuss as well before we go back to Super Chat, see if any of you is um, the Spain squad. I was seeing guys, and I was like. Yeah, what Spain? Spain. They're looking. Like, they're not look. They're looking a bit washed. Vic, back, back, back to reality. Bro, bro. Have we not been saying this? No, I have. I, feel like I have. But now I'm saying this since 2018. Vi- Vivian. I, said, <laughs> like, I feel like every time, every once in a while, a Spain squad comes out and people go, Mikel Marino. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can even make at Newcastle, yeah. and I'm like, bro, Mikel Marino is yeah. decent as well. Too. He's, he's decent, bro. Like, he's not doing bad. Yeah, he's like. a good player. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, everyone was on the Spain train. Um, Last last tournament though, yeah, because they who do they cook again? No, they, Costa Rica. Because they, they got to the semifinals. And I was like, I'm not moved. Well. I'm not moved. They we got say- to the semifinals at the Euros as well with yes, Enrique playing yeah. decent football, and it was yeah. like a squad of where we were looking at them mm. pre-tournament like, together. What the hell is this? Yeah, and they somehow some way got there, and I mm. think. I mean, they're not the worst group of players, but I, I understand we're used to that powerhouse select that we got Bruh. 10, 15 years ago where yeah. you had Cazorla just chilling on the bench, yeah. Mata getting no minutes. Yeah. It's like, bro, you get that once every 20 years. Yeah. Spain, they got that once in their, gener- in their, in their they history, got that bro. once in their generation, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. uh, it's the same thing even with like Belgium. When you look at them, now you're seeing like Trossard as the key yeah, man. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. five, six years ago, we, it was like you had options yeah, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Dembele was holding bench, you know what yeah. I mean? But you, you get that every once in a while. And Look. Spain are just adapted back to their normal level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, said back to the Helguera, <laughs> Uti, right? Yeah, yes. no, not, not even. Morientes, <laughs> Almeida, <laughs> Nemande, Joaquin, Joaquin, Vincent. I don't even. I, 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 I think Captain that's even doing them this justice, bro. I can't huh? lie. I think they're worse than even that team, bro. You yeah, think they were? Yeah, bro. Now I remember them days. That team used to be like never weren't able to get past a quarterfinal competition. Them days, Spain always used to be. Now it's just like. Okay, hey, cool. wait, can I just say, yeah, whoever whoever went to go and dig out a Marcus Senna cap, yeah, big up you. Aye. Because the streets needed to Marcus be educated. Yeah, man, that's yeah, Euro's yeah. heritage. That's Euro real. Eight. Euro 2008. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's to real hell. hoops. But he listen. World Cup 2006, the Euro 08. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spain have got a tough group. Villarreal, that period. Oh, Spurs yeah, have a yeah. rich. Spurs have a <laughs> So Spurs. Spain, Spain do have a really tough group. Like Albania. Yeah. Italy and... Croatia. Modric and the man, in it? Croatia. Oi. Tough Magic group. Last hurrah. Yeah, Tough, but I feel like we say this every single time. <laughs> yeah. Last dance. I he's, got one more with me. He's still there next year. Nah, but this ain't even a group of death, He's still going to be there next year. He's Euro- probably going to be at the World Cup, man. E- Euros anyways, most of the groups, three teams progress anyway. So can you even call it a group of death? You can get out with three yeah. draws, bro. I mean. It, isn't it certain groups? No, it's the best. No, no, no. It's the best the third place best, best teams. Third finishes. Yeah. Okay. So if, oh. if there's one team, that if, if, if there are two teams that smack the other two teams, then... Mm. That third place is out of it, but interesting. it'll be it will be interesting. There's always one team third place thing, man. Though, nah, man, that's, how, like, that's how like, that's, 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 that's how Portugal. That's how that's how Ivory Coast won. Ivory Coast, Portugal. It hurts me so much. Like, too much. All, it's, what's going on in football? Too much glorifying of mediocrity Fresh. nowadays, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. fifth place gets Champions League. Third place goes through. Like this is going crazy, bro. It's because do you know what it is? There's always been victims, and I think the big organizations don't want to. See, like a big team go out, or yeah, so yeah, like, it will give you Safety a life for having a poor group. Yeah, there. Safety yeah. Ivory Coast, prime example, bro. Yeah. AFCON, they got but what was it? Port- Equatorial Port- Guinea 4 0 in the last game, exactly. mm-hmm. but it's like, hey man, you lot are the hosts, we'll backdoor you in some way, mm-hmm. go on to win it now. Bro, and they got their footing back. Portugal so, have built a uh, second opportunity, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, nah, I hear it. Portugal have built a uh, um. Mm-hmm. A proper side, right? Yeah, I, I can't. The only thing I think their side is missing, actually, no, it's not because they got Rafael Leal. I was gonna say, I think they're missing maybe some 1v1 and pace, but mm-hmm. they got Rafael Leal there as well. It, so it was the first their team, time, looks, bro. I think it was the first, first time nasty. since I, I don't want to get the year wrong. It was like 2006 to 2007 that a player outside of Ronaldo's order number seven for them. So who, was the, who was it? Who was it that wore it? Bruma. 
Bruma. Bruma. Jeffrey Bruma. He might oh, have that back up. But it's <laughs> yeah, I, I think it is that. Or was that the Dutch centre back? Wait, you say Jeffrey <laughs> Bruma <laughs> from PSV <laughs> in like 05? <laughs> That flipping Alex look alike. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking a piss. No, they've got a good squad. Man. I think, um, I can't remember which player it was. It wasn't Cancelo, it was, it was someone. Someone was basically saying that he thinks that they're stronger. No, it's Cancelo and he's right. Yeah, can, was it Cancelo? Can you say, can you say the quote, please? No, it was Cancelo basically yeah. who was saying like, look, it's not like, what did he say? Something something about P- Ronaldo peaked at 30 or 31 or something like that. Well, that is a bit too harsh, obviously. Right? Ronaldo, Wait, still, Ronaldo scored like 200 goals since he turned 30, but. What happened? What say, say the quote for, for our listenership. Yeah, Liz, let me, let me Liz look it is up getting it up at the yeah. moment. Well, I think Portugal well balanced. Very well yeah. balanced. Quality. Very, every, very well every balanced. area of the pitch you look at as well, it's like a A, a star talent. They've, got, they've yeah. got nearly two in every position. Yeah. yeah. No, at the moment, Portugal. And, and, and we always kind of, the past few tournaments, we were like, all right, Ronaldo. Well, that, yeah. Last hurrah, yeah, yeah. go give it up. Mm. This might be the actual tournament where it's like, and, and, then, and, then, and then Jota still the to come into that team yeah. who I think should be start he's probably going to start no, so Actually, now, no, I've got to ask, guys, I've got can ask we, you can we be not. honest here as long as Ronaldo is fit he's starting in this team like, he's he's not, because he got dropped in he the got World Cup, in the World so Cup. Well, me, no like, but he got he got dropped and look at the outrage that happened Ronaldo uh, for, for me is starting under Roberto Martinez and he's been starting for him um, in the qualifiers I get it I think first game he might do but then if they don't win so well sorry Christian I want to ask you something because I know that you appreciate what Jota does in the football pitch, mm. but he he's not your bro. type of footballer. Mm. Do you think at international level, because this is the conversation we always have, mm. the way Jota plays, because it's something I think you've mentioned before, do you think that Jota can be optimised at international level? I think so, yeah. Why I mean, I had the, you are, you weren't on that episode, I don't think. Was it the, was it the episode with Doyle? I said, I was I've got to give... It wasn't no, 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 it was us, it was us, yeah. It was us, yeah. I wasn't yeah. There, but with those yeah. episode, no, I was with you at an episode, I can't remember which one it was, and I said, um, I'm giving Jota his respect. Mm. Got to give, you got to give him respect to what he does. Like mm. the guy's deadly finisher, both mm. feet and in the air, mm. bro. I know in the basketball they say a three-way, a three-level <laughs> scorer. That's what he is. Right foot, left foot, header. He's amazing on all of them. So at international level, and you're looking at some of the players that are going to be at the Euros. Mm. If I want a chance fall into somebody, Jota is going to be high up on that list. Mm. So I would. I would probably start Jota, bro. Yeah, I would probably find a way of starting Jota because you need goals. Rafael Leal, does he guarantee you a goal? Maybe not. Bernardo mm. doesn't. Bruno at international level is starting to score um, quite a bit for Portugal. So maybe he's starting he can to guarantee facilitate goal. a lot more. Ronaldo, the thing about Ronaldo, you just don't know what Ronaldo you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, I mean, could it, could it be this last dance, hurrah, Ronaldo? Or mm. could it be what we saw at the World Cup where mm. it's like... Mm, Maybe Gonzalo Ramos is a better option. Mm. So, but if it is between Gonzalo Ramos and Jota, and Jota, I'm going Diogo Jota, bro. This is what Cancelo said. He said uh, Ronaldo is an important player and spent 15 years competing with Messi for the Ballon d'Or. But the peak of a footballer's career is between the ages of 25 and 32. He's an important player for us, but the national team does not depend entirely on him. Joe Cancelo said that. Yeah, Cancelo yeah. was talking God shit. Damn, yo, this guy's unruly, isn't it? Yeah, That's see, why Pep had to get rid of him. Remember, he, he, he spoke about, about Pep as well. As well, saying um, Man City fans should have been more grateful. Yeah, he might, is he real? He might be real nah, men. He, he, he's real men, isn't it? No, he's, he's real, real men, men still. still. But Portuguese man. people, a lot of Portuguese are real, real men. men yeah. They're, 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 they're stand up mates. dudes. Yeah. They're stand up. Yeah, yeah, they stand up. I think I think Ronaldo is going to start for Portugal, though, man. I can't lie. Like I think he just has too much power in that dressing room. He's Ronaldo. He's the biggest person to ever come out of that country. Forget about sports. But mm-hmm. I think as I think he is for me the difference between Portugal having a surprise run going far and disappointing like they almost always do. Mm. Mm. What, what super chats have we got um, whilst we're here? Don't forget to smash the like button. Algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Also, yeah. as well. We might go through some questions as well. So send in some sick questions. Production will pick up the best ones. But let's go Super Chats quickly. Uh, Adam goes, not going to lie, an 11 of Neuer, Kimmich, Rüdiger, Ta, Raum, Kroos, Gundo, Wurz, Musiala, Sané and Havertz looks good, at least on paper. Mm-hmm. There's an imposter in that room. <laughs> well, There's an imposter in that. Paper. What are you saying? There's an imposter in that Jonathan 11. Tar. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew it. I just knew it. I knew it. Straight away. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you seen all the soldiers going in? There's one clown in the uh, And then Jiba like, Football. One of these is not like the other. And then Jiba Football says, 
Cam's, it's, oh, everyone's telling Cam, chill, chill, chill. Todd's cold. Todd's been having a good guy. season. Mm. Cold. Le- right. They're saying Leverkusen tax. Mm. Oh, my God. Bro. And then Jibo Football says, Cam, I'm, it's not about me being proper chels. I'm just saying, let's not be disingenuous. It's the elite level. Everyone is technical. Technical. Gallagher's not the one stopping England. I mean, obviously, if, if, I mean, Gallagher, I, mean, I don't know if you can say that. I think there's players in the championship that have got more tech than, than Gallagher. Archie Gray. There we go. Adam Wharton just come up from the championship at, at, Palace. at Palace. He's got more tech than Conor Hayden, Gallagher. Hayden Hackney. There we go. Oh, you've been locked in, yeah? Hey, hey yo, lately. Hey, 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 my bag is all clear. Hey, 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 this guy just scouted on FM, bro. I know for that. I like him, I tell you. That's all the super we got. You know Morgan Whitaker? No, 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 no. Oh, look, I'm checking it out. That's too deep. <laughs> hey, guys, they're, they're on the cam about this Todd. Like this, oh, here we this go. Todd's Todd, 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 man. Yeah. <laughs> the PL man. Yeah, it's, right, cool. Todd's cold. Um, All right. Before we before we go and before we do some questions, um, when we were speaking about Senna, let's sign Todd then. But if, as soon as Mayna linked to him, all of a sudden he'll be a bum. Let's sign Todd. Let's sign Todd. Jonathan Todd. What is it? Dan Ashworth. Get to work. I sober. want Jonathan Todd at Man United, huh? Him and tap sober. There we go. I like Top Sober. Mm. See now, I see him. I like him. Mm. See, I like Top Sober. But Char- what do you like about Top Sober? I'm not too moved. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you my Bikini Faso legend. Yeah, Bikini Faso legend. Mm. Bikini Faso, you know. Mm. <laughs> They've only got one legend. They've only got one legend. They've only got one legend, and you know who it is. What's his name? Boss. <laughs> that's it. Boss. Boss. I make her dance. <laughs> hey, did I tell you about Team Afcon? Guy looks like Boss. But Team Afcon. What guys? You looked Team Afcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't bro, it? one. Why do you not take a picture? Bro, because when you know when you're moving and shaking like that, you ain't got time for pictures, bro. You yeah. gotta take a picture of it bounce, bro. I know, but next, Morocco now, go Morocco. That's heritage. Sorry. Yeah, who's sending you to Morocco? <laughs> you can say <laughs> Adam, Adam goes, I know an, Adam goes, I know a nation starting Maguire ain't talking about Jonathan Ta. Yeah, but Maguire is meaty though. That's 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 not that's not nothing. Think. What is Jonathan oh, Ta John Stones level? I wanted to mention something actually. Is um, Jonathan Ta hey, yo, yo, hold on, is Jonathan Ta John Stones level? I'm just like okay. Let's, yeah, right, let's be grounded let's then. Let's be grounded. At one point yesterday, um, Harry Maguire on on the pitch of England was the player of the most <coughs> goals for England. Most what? At one point yesterday, during that game, Harry Maguire was the player of the most goals for England. Nice. Really? Harry Maguire was the player on the pitch. That means that his side is very inexperienced, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Surely. Watkins and them, man. Yep. What? How many goals did Maguire have got for England? Probably like eight or something. Or the headers and stuff, no, remember? What, what Watkins ain't actually. a killer for England. Gordon, no. Foden, I don't think so. Was it I Gordon's can... second cap, I think? Yeah. First cap was his debut. First cap, yeah. yeah. So that's not that surprising. I can't yeah. lie. No, but it just makes you, it just makes you go, oh, interesting. Fair but yeah. More, more shooters needed. <laughs> no. Got Kane, innit? Yeah, yeah. Got Kane. Didn't shooters just got to shoot. Hmm? Biggest one. Got Kane. How many has Rashford got for England? Like 20? Probably. Well, Rashford, didn't come up. Rashford, I think, was on when Maguire was off. Oh, okay. Yeah, they okay. that's why. That's what I said at one point. Oh, um, we mentioned Senna, right? We mentioned you mentioned like Euros moments. I wanted mm-hmm. to ask, like, are there players that like s- over time have been like pinnacles in terms of like, European football, of, like having like sick performances? Obviously, everyone talks about Pogba's run for France. Do you know what? That for me, for for haunted reasons, I'll yeah. be honest with you. I always remember like Euro two thousand and eight, Andre Arshavin. <laughs> <laughs> for me, is yeah. just for tormented reasons I remember yeah. watching the Russia run and just being like ah, they're a cool team man mm. yeah. Anyukov Bilya Letdinov yeah. all these man popping I yeah. was like yeah this is cute then we bucked them mm-hmm. and I thought yeah we had Robert Van Persie mm. Van Nistelrooy's last run I thought yeah go <laughs> get these out of here <laughs> sent us packing with yeah. the little yeah. and, and I was like young, yeah man. you know what this is their kind of and I remember the 04 before that, Czech Republic. If you like, you like, might have been too young them days. No, no. But yeah, of course. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like, Barrows like, cooking and all on, that bro. dynamic yeah. duo. So it was like, I felt like they were almost that version yes, of that yeah, tournament, yeah. if that makes sense. Mm. That team that makes that semi final run. Yeah. So for me, for tormented reasons, I always remember Arshman. And of course, then you got the Arsenal move after that. Yeah. yeah. Deadline day, it was yeah. like, yo, mm. this guy's really having like, oh, wait, was his. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Somebody asked as well, what is our favorite? What's our favorite? What is everybody else's as well? What's your? What are your favorite moments or memory in the Euros? Greece Euros was always funny bro, to me. What, just two thousand four. Just that's just funny. Well, them winning it. Yeah. Is that your favorite moment though? Not favorite. It's just funny. Like when I think of moments, like that's always gonna come out as funny because what the hell? Mm-hmm. Why? 
Who was that? Who's the captain? Zago Zagorikis or what his name is? Yeah, Zagorikis. Fiorentinos. And they had Delas. At yeah, the back, yeah. I remember. And then yeah, what's, who's, who's my man that was at, um, Bolton? What's his name? Oh, Stelio Stelio Janakopoulos. Yeah, yeah. Come like, on, man. All of these men is like, <laughs> and you're looking at yeah. like. I could have. That was the first time I thought something was rigged. I'll be real. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, when I with Greece, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, Greece, because it was like <laughs> how is that the whole possible? tournament? I remember as well. Yeah. For me, anyway, that was the Ronaldo breakout tournament. I know it was the, there was always the wink gate that everybody thinks about it, but I felt yeah. like that was the one where over the summer he come back a little swole, new yeah. teeth yeah. set in. Ronaldo. He had the little oh, yeah. blonde highlights. I was like, you know what? Ronaldo's coming of age this tournament. Yeah. And after that, he just came back a different player. But mm -hmm. I always thought Portugal were meant to win that uh, Euro 2004. Yeah. And then when. It was at home as well. Greece. Greece won. Yeah, yeah, Greece won it. I was like, and Greece what the Greece, hell is this? Greece beat them in the first game of the group. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. In the final. Bro, yeah. yeah I could. I could it didn't That's make what I'm saying. It's it didn't make sense. It was, it was the first time where I was just like, yeah. this this is weird. This yeah. is, and mm. then two years later, Liverpool made the Istanbul. I was like, yeah, football's fixed, man. Mm -hmm. I would say, Istanbul yes, recovery. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I was yeah. like, nah, nah, football's <laughs> fake, man. I would say my favorite. I would say my favorite is probably. It's got to be Wayne Rooney at the Euros, man. Mm. It just got to be Wayne Break Rooney at, yeah, mm. at Euro 2004. I remember the header against Switzerland. That just felt like a, you know, I, mean, I think at the time he was the youngest ever scorer in, in Euros history. I think at the time. At the time. Mm. I don't know if somebody else has, has beat that since, but that tournament was just, will always stick in memory, bro. Like the way Rooney burst onto the scene, the way that France game, like even though England lost that game, there was just so much still that buzz that, okay, Rooney's, yeah, you know I mean, Rooney can take us somewhere. And just the way he was performing in that tournament, well above his age, yeah. it was just so sick, bro. Like that was, I was at the age where footballers are like superheroes. Yeah. But Rooney was like a superhero. I was like, what, like, bro, this, is, this said, isn't normal, bro. He spoke to him, he said that at that point, yes. he felt like he was the best player in yeah. the world. Yes. You're thinking, bro, yeah. you're just coming of age, but you yeah. think you're the best in the world. Bro, it's crazy. It just goes to show you the mentality you yeah, at that, that show, age, isn't it? You yeah. gotta have and that you mentality. you saw it in his performances. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's probably my favorite Euro moments, I'd say. This one's not favorite, but it's a random one that always makes me laugh, ironically, is against England. Was it the semi final 2004? Um, Against Portugal, where Ricardo saved it with, with his bare hands. The yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Taking a piss. I mean, Ricardo was a good penalty stopper, bro. Yeah, no, but bare hands. Yeah, yeah. Was he bare hands? Yeah, Do you he know took off his bare hands? hands? Oh my goodness! Do you know what's an incredible one? The Bale, Gareth, uh, Wales, and Gareth Bale yeah. run in 2016. Can I say something about Al that? Robson? Can oh no! Don't. What are you gonna say? What? Bro, go on. Go on. Aaron Ramsey was the better Aaron player. Aaron Ramsey, of course. Okay, well. I I was was he was the better player yeah. that tournament. Yeah. There was there yeah. was a whole band, I yeah. would say. There was a lot going on. Bell, 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 was, Bell was name brand. Ramsey was the better player, and obviously Robson Khan had. But it was the, almost like I felt like the last hurrah of that kind of Wales team group. and the fact that what was it? Their first Euros they'd qualified for, I think. Mm -hmm. and before that, they just got their first or after I think it was their first World Cup qualification. Yeah, they've, so they've qualified they, for. They, they had their little moment in the sun, and I felt yeah. like that was the pinnacle of it. Wales getting to a semi final. That Robson Kanu moment. Go, that goal was mental. Crazy. Uh, crazy. When you think of it like yeah. Euro perspectives, mm -hmm. one other one as well, I'm sorry, but Euro 2020 that was played in 2021, mm -hmm. the Paul Pogba passing clinic. As yeah. I he was it. the best player of the tournament. I don't yeah. know Bro, yeah. some, every once in a while, you just stumble upon the, the compilations yeah, of that yeah, tournament. Yeah, yeah. But I remember when that tournament was going on after crazy. every France game, you were just like, bro, he just did a fake pass that I've never yeah. seen before, mm -hmm. I remember. And it's just, what the fuck? Is this? You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I think yeah. I think it he was, was just, better in that tournament than he was in the World Cup. For me, that yeah. was peak Pogba that tournament, mm. bro. Life peaked when Shaw scored, though, man. <laughs> life, <laughs> life peaked. That one nil in the final. <laughs> you know, Cam's yeah. <laughs> I know he had the the red paint across like this. Saint George, <laughs> like the Rooney picture, <laughs> like the Rooney picture. <laughs> I'm telling I you, can't write, the worry. way I was pl I was planning like where do I go? Should I go Shoreditch? Should I hit the central? <laughs> like where's gonna Wembley. be popping? Wembley. I was in Shoreditch. I was like, where am I heading to? And then it just capitulated, bro. Oh my god, life peaked to that moment, man. Uh, who's got the goal? Who's got the winner for Portugal again? That was a moment. That was a moment. From the halfway line. That was a moment. Oh, 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 God, I said from the halfway line. line. The halfway <laughs> line. <laughs> outside the box. That's <laughs> said from, 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 from the logo. You know said from the logo. This is how legacies grow over time. You're, you're going to go tell your kids. Yeah, no, this is a game, guys. From the halfway line. line. He never kicked the ball the day before in his life. He got caught up a week before. That's how they story. He was a bin man the week before. And he won it for his country. Ronaldo looked at him as he subbed off. He said, you. You're the one. You're going to do it. Guy. <laughs> and they said, 
<laughs> that's, like, that, that's like the whole last dance documentary. Yeah. The whole last yeah. dance bro, documentary. Tell you, Netflix hit me up. Hey. We got stories to tell. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> no, that's, that was good, man. Um, do you guys prefer Euros or World Cups? What do you World think has been more exciting? I was going to say, I got a moment as well, too, from Euros. Go on, go on. Yeah. For me, but you a yank, man. We we don't. World <laughs> Cup. When it comes to World Cup, we'll shout you. Gold Cup. You're, Niger- you're yeah. a You're Niger- Nigerian. Conk- bro, stop trying to claim England. They don't know you like that. Concacaf. Talk to us about. Yeah, what is it? Concacaf. Concacaf, bro. What the hell? What's your favorite Concacaf? Yeah. Bro, you're not. You're you're Nigerian, bro. They don't love you like that, bro. <laughs> Last what did, what did Joe David do? Tell us about England, bro. Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> I was gonna say Balotelli 2012. Oh yeah, Ooh, Balotelli 2012 was a moment, bro. Like, you no, know, I was just thinking. I can't remember much from 2012. Nah, Euro for Euro some 2012. Jog my memory. Now, I mean, Italy in general, right? Like, first of all, Pirlo. I always say that's the tournament where that's like, the, the one. Rest, the the, the Panenka free kick. The rest of Europe just remem- like realized then and there. Oh yeah, he's one of the best midfielders yeah. on the planet. Like England. The way he schooled them and then the penalty. But yeah, then that's semi final because Germany, I think, were the well, other than Spain, were like the favorites to go to the final. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the way Balotelli just like announced himself to the world that turn with that game in particular, <laughs> yeah. the two goals Shut he scored off. were like screamers. And then yeah. that celebration was like yeah, iconic everywhere. for the next five years, bro. Yeah. Like you know, him taking off his shirt and flexing. That, that was like one of the first memes of in. Internet. Ever on yeah. the internet, yeah. innit? Like that was a original yeah. meme. meme. Yeah. Like that that Balotelli thing. Yeah. Remember they started Bro, they'll Instagram put like a unicorn on him and yeah. they'll it was mad. Yeah. Instagram it? Twitter, all that stuff after twenty twelve really. I was gonna yeah, say yeah, no, one, yeah. no one's mentioned any Zlatan moments. Zlatan. I mean, Zlatan. He had that, I remember that back what? heel that he had. Don't joke. I mean Zlatan that one, doesn't really... He's had some no, he's had some like big goals and it's like, oh shit. In the Euros? Nah, he scored some yeah. nice goals. Yeah, I mean, he in the Euros. Against France in 2012, too, yeah. he had like a scissor kick, but they, yeah, they were already yeah. eliminated yeah. by that. He scored a goal against yeah. Italy as well. For me, I don't think Z- Zlatan, Champions League knockout, um, especially because playing for a poor Sweden side yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he's really got those kind of big defining moments. Mm. Like no, not defining. like league titles yeah. and league runs. Yeah. Bro, the guy was a gun, man. I think, I think, yeah, there's obviously, it's not a particular moment, but that Spain final in 2012, what they did to Italy it was, it was Jokins. yo. That was the pinnacle of perfection. That Jokins. was that was that was emotional, bro. Like, listen, Pirlo was one of the great controllers of in history, bro. They reduced him to tears, bro. He was crying after. They they reduced him. It was a it was suffering, especially because if you remember the first game, did Italy win? I think it was, or they drew. Di Natale got his goal. Pirlo little through ball. So I was thinking, oh, maybe in the final, Italy might do. They just schooled England and all them things. But then the way Spain popped in, I bro, that that felt. Very similar to the Man United Barcelona final where Man United Barcelona just destroyed us in, Fuggins, in 2011. Fuggins. Yeah. Some games you look at and you're like, not one aspect of that. Okay, they conceded against us, but mm. not one aspect of that game you felt went wrong. And that it was just completely perfection. like the triple crown of the Euros, World, World Cup, yep. and Euros. the Euros again. It was yep. like, these guys have got us in a chokehold. Bro, it was which sad. Which is why 2014, it was so nice. <laughs> Holland could crash the man yeah. in groups. It was, Let's go. It was, it was. Nah, it I can't was, lie, I was celebrating. I'm trying to see flying head Woo! Woo! Hey, they love was, to see you climb, but they love, love to, to see, see you fall, fall as, well, as well, trust me. Listen, man. Um, should we do some questions? Yeah, let's take up? some questions, man. We'll wrap it up. Production, we're going off your judgment. Um, Joshua asks... POV, you're, if you're Xerxes, do you play for Dutch or the Nigeria? Holland. Joshua Xerxes. Holland don't have a number Where'd nine he at the up? moment. He's not a pure nine, maybe not, but I still think there's a role for him in that team mm. to be a proper player. Where did he grow up? He grew up in Holland. Holland, yeah. I was going to say, with Nigeria, there's too many nines. That bro, that Boniface, uh, Aussie man. Uh, who's my man that was injured um, before the tournament as well? Taiwanese. The, oh, so many. Um, it's crazy. It's probably the first time in history that you can say it's easier to play for uh, the Holland Netherlands up front than it is for yeah. Nigeria. <laughs> no, to be fair, Nigeria have always been stacked in terms Des, of front. Des, no, but Des, Netherlands, Des, they Des, used Des, Des Des back in the day. Yeah. Was, not like the Netherlands, bro. The Netherlands Des, too. Dess has played up front the other day when we beat Ghana for the first time in 16 years. Cyril Dess is that day. He's Dutch. Yeah. I remember yeah. Onwachu was getting runs for a few. Yeah, he, he just needs to make. Oh, I mean, has he been called out by any? No, yeah. I think Holland have flirted with calling him up. Is it? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, just, I guess he just got to make decisions. The worst, the worst thing about them people that it's the ones that take too long to make the decision. Yeah, and those are the ones mm-hmm. where you're just like, bro, like uh, just uh, just Warren Warren on Congo apparently. Yeah, yeah they, don't, they don't want him now. Really? Yeah, apparently he's wanted to declare, but I don't know. I, this is just no, something I Eva? Yeah, and then look, there we go. And then look, Tanzabi, wait, is it 27 years yeah. old? 
Come on, by 22, I knew you weren't playing for England, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying I'm to say? He's 27. He's 27 yeah. years old, bro. What? And he just Word declared for Congo. Go, bro. What? Honestly, bro, Leroy Sane is 20, 28. That's the one that shot me. Leroy Sane is 28. Yeah, he's up. Nah, Leroy Sane has been around for that long. Yeah, him and Sterling, remember? Bro, Leroy Sane wow. was Schalke. You remember? Yeah, yeah I like, know, but. <laughs> Sane, yeah. Sane. Yeah. But yeah, like, I, those are the ones that I'm just like. Look, people can do whatever they want, innit? Yeah. You can choose whatever nation you want. Some Sometimes it's a little bit disappointing if you don't choose the country that you feel like that well listen you don't know what that player's background is how associated yeah, yeah. they are with the country but it's the ones that take too long I'm just like bro declare it can, fam it can affect the team harmony as well you get look like as a, you get there and you look they treat you like an outsider because yeah. like bro you could have been there five years ago when we were struggling mm-hmm. um, Neda Manuel talks about that he talks about he was supposed to de- he wanted to declare from Nigeria and he said not now I'm just because seat had just been taken over mm. and then he they didn't call him back. The England squad. Hmm? No, 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 me. because he was fighting for his career at City. Because obviously they had takeovers. Like, listen, I need to stay in Chan and stay here. Oh, what? sounds like excuses to me. Yeah, no, you can lot, take two weeks out of the year to. A lot of players do it though. Sounds like excuses. A lot of players do it to focus on my club career. A lot of players do it and they regret. Don't trust me in the block then. That's what I'm saying. A lot of players do it and they regret. Um, there's another. I saw a question pop up. That was a good question. Gunnarola says, uh, "See how Musiala and Verts can coexist respectfully without set man's pure footballer agenda." When it comes to Foden and Saka. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Nangusman gets it, bro. No, Nangusman gets it. <laughs> I think he's firing shots at you. I think he's firing shots. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you say? He's trying to say, look how, look how Germany can appreciate fo- uh, Musiala and Verts without people trying to run agendas on pure footballers when it comes to Foden and Saka. Why does that have to do with me? How's that shot at me? When do I run it? What do I do with Saka? I don't think it's specifically you, but I think you know how everyone's like, oh, Foden, baller, Saka, mm, Saka, mm. Nah, like, I don't be saying that though. I say <laughs> Saka should start and Foden should start. That's funny. I've never, I don't It's the way you were kind of like, mm. yeah, No, but I thought he's trying to say, yeah, that Germany have got the ballers out there. And, I'm, and I think that's the same with England. Get the yeah, ballers yeah, out yeah. there. That's how I see it. So it's, it's interesting for Serge and I bring that to They said Cam's moonwalk the bullet, don't kill me. <laughs> Yo, wait, am I a sucker hater or something? I'm confused. What is what are you man talking about, bro? Man said I dodged the bullet. What the I fuck? I was thinking, did you say something about in your sucker in your pure football? No! I didn't say nothing about sucker, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Go on then. There was one there was one that popped up about young pub or young Jude. Is that one still there? Uh, no, it wasn't a super chat, but if you want me to read it, uh, yeah. he said, uh, who are you guys taking? Young Pog or young Jude? Mm. I can't lie, young Pogba. Give me La Pioche. I was gonna say I'm taking Pog? young Pogba. What? But what? But what? But what is young Pogba? You. Uh, what do you mean? What is young Damn. Pogba? How old is he there? Like it was like 20, 20 21, 20. yeah. Okay, cool. He moved to United at 23. Yeah. Okay, cool. 22, 21. Go on then, yeah. Dab, 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 dab yeah. Pogba. Dab Pogba. Migos Pogba. Dabba. Dabba. Yeah. <laughs> Dagba. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a PSG player called yeah. Dagba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that. I mean, Pogba's um, better talent, obviously, but. Yeah, what else we got? Gerard reincarnate, man. You think Gerard? Because you remember that season, like Gerard was playing off Torres. Yeah, he's man. Having that season now. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh, he's actually, he's I'm so he's sorry. The brute force. Was... He's got the technical ability mm. as well. You know, people always used to be like, oh, Gerard just takes long shots. Yeah. But Gerard had tech as yeah, well, bro. Of course. Like, and the passing. Like, Gerard had the mad passing. Yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for Jude to fully unlock that long shot package. Yeah. Yeah. I used to say because like, he did one, but I'm like, I don't know. Balak had too many bangers. Yeah. Balak had too many bangers and. His heading ability Billy was too extreme. I, too high. I, I, I that don't was see insane. Jared with, with Bellingham. I think Bellingham has a bit more control when no, he's okay. dribbling. Uh, Jared felt what, a bit what, more like. What I'll say is, yeah, of course, he's a much better dribbler. He's got the Jared like, spirit. Uh, Gerard, yeah, was he's got his spirit. Idol, yeah. If that makes sense, like he can, he definitely molded his game. He's got the, Gerard. he's got the spirit of a Gerard. Yeah, fully. There's something about. But him, again, he's got a lot though, and obviously the technical level is crazy. But the way he does these chops and the flicks, it reminds me of Zidane, man. Honestly, no, no, that's the shirt chicken. I'm not trying to play him in that realm. It's not the shirt, bro. It's the way. It's like the way he takes the outside of his foot. There's a comp as well too against Napoli. I've seen it. Yeah, where it literally looks like crazy. It's crazy. I that, will always maintain. I do think his technical ability is. I always maintain on. because he's so good. He's a chameleon. If he wants to, he can play like Lee Catmore. If he wants to, he can play like this Zidane yeah. thing that everyone's but saying. That's like, why he said he wore the twenty-two, in it. Yeah, like, because he can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I genuinely, like, I genuinely buy into it because exactly. Um, what else we got? Let's do like three more. Maybe uh, we just got two more. Okay, so go Joshua on. says, "Will Norway ever qualify for Euros or World Cup?" And Diallo follows that up by saying, "When are we going to talk about Haaland failing his country?" Damn. What about Odegaard? You nearly broke my heart. <laughs> you see that. Yeah. You see that? You, Who's you, the captain? You ain't tired of going at Arsenal? Who's a- <laughs> I'm just saying, mm. there's accomplices there as well. Mm. We talk about running mates with Mbappe. Yep. That's a running mate right there. Yep. If you're going to point the gun at Haaland, just point the gun at Odegaard as well. Because yep. I watched the qualification game. 
Boy. You remember I came on the pod talking about it against Spain? You did. <laughs> yeah. And what's hey, failing your country? Some of us are watching. The way you flip that on Odegaard <laughs> in <laughs> seconds, you're crazy. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. I know we're doing I mean, international you week. Can't, you can't, yeah, failing your country is, but is uh, tough. This, I mean, he's got he's got 27 goals in 30 games for, for nil, Norway. The thing is, as well, is I think Norway will have their time. Oscar Bob coming in. Norway Nusa. will have their time. Yeah. I think now is, you know, they're still in their kind of rookie phase, if you like. Mm. I think maybe the next two tournaments, three tournaments, they should qualify and kind of mm. be serious contenders, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Please start. With the serious contenders? They should have been at this not, Euros. I mean, like, not serious contenders, but a serious team in the tournament. Oh, okay, cool. No, that's why I was a bit surprised. I was like, okay, cool. I think, yeah, they'll yeah. be, be, they should, it'll, Come on, it'll bro, be disappointing if he doesn't make one. Oscar Bob, Antonio Nusa, mm. Odegaard, mm-hmm. and Haaland. Yeah. It's like, we're talking about front lines that are. It's I'm very top quality there, bro. I'm not saying it as a generic thing, but if Sweden can be getting into these things for the squads they had over the but years, Poland were doing it with Lewandowski, Lewandowski and exactly, yeah. Blaszczykowski, man. Yeah, Come exactly. On. So Wales did it. Wales, Wales did, did it. it. Yeah, yeah. So Scotland got a rise. Up. Well, no, Scotland did it. Is well, it yeah. Yeah. There, <laughs> there we go. There we go. Brave heart. Scotland are there. There's been Tommy for doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next two tournaments, they they watching closely. They must be there. Was that it? Uh, yeah, Diallo just goes and says, your country needs you, Erling. See Lewandowski for ref. Even though, what the hell did Lewandowski do for Poland? But why are we acting like all of a sudden... He scored a lot of goals, though. But yeah, just, yeah, yeah but and just, to be fair, they're, they're one game away from... They play... I think they play Wells. They play Wells in the playoff. Yes, they do. Who, Poland or... Poland. Poland v Wales. For the playoff, yeah. Lewandowski get, has always disappointed get, me for they Poland, get, too. Yeah. Better let us in retirement real quick for one... <laughs> One more, bro. You know what I'm saying? What? Brandon Johnson. I genuinely think he'll do it as well. I'm not even joking. If he ain't that got guy's too much playing atrophy, golf. that guy's like playing golf, mate. What do you think? If too he much, had, you know, like shriveled up uh, yeah, all the yeah. muscles and that. Yeah. Yeah, he needs Listen, to though. After a while, he was getting a bit too mm, muscly, bro. Them yeah, injuries. That's how I was catching up. Maybe go back to Young Bell. You know what I'm saying? Listen, the left foot whips. That's another episode, <laughs> man. Like, share, subscribe. Algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. No champs and duds this week. You want to do champs and nuts? You got any champs and nuts? Uh, you know what? It's a feature of the show. Hendrick Let's do it. winning at Wembley. Sorry, I've got a champ. I was going to say it. I, I forgot thing. Sven Goran Eriksson. You are hey. a champ. <laughs> Within that same message. <laughs> Michael Owen. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even Paul Scholes, speedy recovery when it's terminal. I mean, he didn't on, even, he said all like, the best on your recovery. Yeah, man. Nah, nah, Scholes wasn't bad. Owen was like, Owen was, was talking about, started like, talking, he's like, yeah, oh, we're looking for the Euros. Yeah. We're all hope England do well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all looking forward to seeing the boys at the yeah. European Championship. Yeah. 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 I was like, hi, come friend. on, man. <laughs> hope you're enjoying the current team. <laughs> bro, what, what are you talking about, bro? He's an AI. I'm convinced bro, bro. that brother is an AI. Owen, man. You see Owen, yeah? Owen's one of them guys, yeah, where like, you know what, yeah, fair play to him because outside of football, yeah, what was he said? The team that's gonna win is the team that scores more goals. <laughs> mm. Brother. Hey, I'm so glad they got him Fuck on commentary, on. man. <laughs> so, no offense, son, I'm so glad they got him on commentary. He's still on comms now. Is he? He still does, hey, he's man. on BT, he's on TNT or whatever. I'm, I'm <laughs> mentally muting that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, big up, big up, um, Sven. Um, Big up um, the players that played in that game as well. Flipping, you had C- um, Torres, Gerard, and Devar. Devar. There was a Real Madrid one as well. Yeah. Zidane was hooping. Zidane was balling. <laughs> was there was, yeah, there was the Real, Real Madrid, Madrid one. one. Yeah, yeah. There was goals saved off. Bro, I was oh. saying, they need to bring back Masters football, man. Facts! Mm. They need to bring, mm. like, uh, the OGs, six aside, indoors, yeah. nothing too heavy paced. They're bringing but something back similar. You can still show just, your touches and, and your technical But remember, we, we were speaking some, remember there was some Donny that yeah, popped up. There was some, this, this, yeah. there was some, was some, some because there was some random Don, okay, I didn't even want to say random, that's deep, yeah. but there was some Don that came into our messages one time. He wanted we're to link up something to help, no, we wanted to promote it. He yeah. wanted us to help promote it. And he said that they were trying to get it done bring in it India, innit? Yeah. They were yeah. trying to make it done in India, but I don't know what ended up happening. They need sponsors and obviously everybody wants to get paid, but. Qatar, Bro, I'd like to, not to be mm, fair, no. there's something happening this summer, I there think, is, where yeah. it's like a World Cup between like all the old retired players. Yeah. Like, I, like I'm Totti, there. I think, is I'm coming there. back. It's in England as well, too. Ronaldo is going to be there. Yeah. I, I, Ronaldo, yeah, Rio is playing, I think, as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, and that's what I'm seeing here is a lot of these retired players, not like back in the day, they're not all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some man good are shape. saying this shit, and I'm like, "Yo, you can still play. Wait, come man play." Inflated. Yo, come on, man. I, I, I love Wesley Schneider, mm. one of my OGs. But yeah. when I see him at the Inter Legends games, I'm like, "Brother, you know, it's funny." Amazing, about amazing man. punditry. Talking about man. legends, me and Leah's did a chat with Cliver, right? Mm. <laughs> and bro, the guy looks 
in great, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Bro, the guy hasn't aged at all. Yeah. Bro. He, he even looks like he's getting younger. It's, it's good, absolutely man. crazy, bro. Listen, I was seeing the video like midweek, that. even Masha Ozil. Have you seen the way he's looking? Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro, yeah. Wham. He's turning into Tim Visa. WWE <laughs> 2 come, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> Masha Ozil! <laughs> 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 this top roll, bro. <laughs> this guy is mad. Um, duds. Have I got any duds? Have I got any duds? Wait, um, who's putting up some Mir Elias Chump for production issues? Hey, don't let me catch you back there, bro. <laughs> Get that shit off the airwaves, man. <laughs> Yo, who messed up our first five minutes, bro? Who's responsible, bro? I'm trying to Elias. think. I don't think I've got any champ, I mean, duds that stick out. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We don't have to have any. Uh, yeah, we don't have yeah. to have any. Dud free week. Anyone, everyone, yeah. everyone can get a, get a blight. But listen, man, that's another episode. Like, share, subscribe. We'll be back next week. Remember, next week's a big one. <laughs> you take Kendrick tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> you don't want to miss. I co sign that. I co sign yeah. that. You do not want to miss. I co sign that. You do not want to miss next week's episode. Woo! It's guaranteed. Oof. Guaranteed mm-hmm. to be a blockbuster. Man City Arsenal, if you didn't know. Oof. Now you know. Wow. Win, lose, or draw, we will be there. Mm-hmm. We will Make be sure there. We will be podding. Biggest game of the season so far. Mm-hmm. Join the movement. Mm-hmm. You already know it is. FCM, that's another episode. We're out. <laughs>